Okay, it's time for Quest for Semi-Glory. We'll back to Valhalla tonight. We made some good cash last time. We paid our $8,000 electrical bill, which is still kind of ridiculous, if you ask me. But that's fine. <clears throat> We've paid all our bills like a, like a good adult. We'll have no problems at work today. That's good. Let's read some news. Let's see what's been going on in the world around us. Uh... I don't think uh, 2 Chan has any more news for us. That's fine. Let's see what this shit rag has here. Mysterious messages, huh? So you're able to record and transcribe one of the messages. Blah, 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 blah. White noise. Who are you? Are you really alive? Switch the mirror thing to me. It's time to become one. End of transmission. Interesting. All right. That's weird shit. That's some weird shit. That's all right. And machine rejection has taken 80 lives this year. Oh, that's what, uh, that's what our ex died of, right? <clears throat> a heart attack due to nanomachine rejection. Health Observatory just released their annual report on nanomachine rejection cases. The total number of reported cases has risen to 80 from 65 last year. Nanomachine pollution was particularly strong this year due to recent protests. Cause the release police force to release new varieties of nanomachines. Their function is still unclear. Intended for crowd control purposes. Oh boy. Yeah. True dystopia. Unlikely we'll find a cure in the near future. We can only hope that cases will become more rare. Probably not going to happen. <clears throat> Model Warrior Julianne. Oh, that's uh, one of the designs for the nano camo of the room. Was uh, had this uh, had this magical girl on there. Classic magical girl show. Model Warrior Julianne. That's my real name. Apparently not uh, Jill or Jules or whatever. Coming back to public television this February after almost two decades. Even though the show has been on every demand service, every on-demand service. Blah 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 blah. I think twice before subscribing to any non-essential service, especially localized to a limited number of internet purchases per year. Those returns, welcome to the parents will be finally be able to share a piece of their childhood with the kids without risking dinner and breakfast. Well, that's actually pretty good. All right. Um, how much is that? Uh, is that shit? Let's let's see. Fifteen hundred. I bet. I bet Jill gets real happy if you buy this, but that's really expensive. That is really expensive. Not to mention the fucking $10,000 rad or whatever. I don't have that much money. <clears throat> okay. Okay, we've done a lot of good work here. Let's save before we go to work. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go. Oh, we're going in on Christmas Eve. Hey, boss. Good to see you. I guess we're feeling better, right? I won't say good, but not that bad. Eh, that's good. You know, small steps. Small steps. Where's Gil? Did he run away again? Nah, I have him on errand duty, buying the drinks for tomorrow. <laughs> we're on a bar, lol. Every drink from here would come out of our own funds. So if we're gonna spend money, we might as well get more variety. That's right. Kinda walks are always good for Gil. Needs to get out and clear... Get out and clear his mind a little bit. You're the boss. She sure is. Alright, who do we got on the guest list here? There's three of us, the dogs, invited Titty Hacker, Gil invited Jamie. <laughs> Titty Hacker has a name. Please, it's Alma. She's cute. The dogs. Oh, not like the corgis from way in the beginning, right? Just the single, the rad, rad Sheba or whatever, right? I also invited Dorothy when I called her to spend the night with you. Oh, Dorothy's gonna be there. That's gonna be nice. <clears throat> Anyone else who feel like inviting? Can we invite Say and Stella? I feel like they should be here too. Everyone's made plans by this point. That's true. But can we ask him anyways? Like, if they show up, can we just ask him? Be real nice. Okay, time to, uh, set the mood. We gotta set the mood here. Let's, uh, set a good mood, perhaps. Something a little bit more upbeat and mysterious, all right. Uh, did we get rid of nighttime maneuvers? I think we might have. All right, all right, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. <coughs> something a little, not really cheery, but it's something better. Oh, Neon District, we've already gotten there. What about Metropolis? Is that bumping? Hmm, that's a little bit more considered. Maybe not that. What about Digital Drive? All right, but needs a little electro every now and again. Meet the staff in there. I know that one's good. Out of orbit, we've already got an alternate reality. Sure. All right. Sounds good. Ba-ba-do-ba-do-ba-do-ba-do-ba-do-ba-do-da. 
And I'll check inside. Oh, somebody's coming in. Oh, BTC bar. All right. Uh, a couple more cuties, I guess. You know where the Athena Convention Center is? Does that place make people get lost so easily? Should have called it the Minotaur Center. Ah, uh, because of la Labyrinth, Minotaur getting lost, etc., etc. <laughs> Go to the right. When you see a building filled with hobos, this should be it. Thanks. Anything else I can help you with? How about a drink? Yeah, there we go. Let's have some drinks. Brantini. And uh, the other one's kind of quiet. All right. Well, guess what? How do you get people to talk? You give them double the drink is what you do. Nine, six, seven, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two. Oops, oopsie. Whoops. I fucked it up. Uh, blah, 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 12 of those, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 of those, ooh, not that, 1, 2, aged and mixed, shika, 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 bam, Brantini, here you go, interesting outfit in this cold season, Miss Bella, huh, cosplaying, alright, I'm sure that's a reference to actually something real, but I have no idea what it is, a little imprint is, Essentia, ah, kit, <laughs> Has playing too? Sure, let's go with that. Okay, sure. Heard of a game called Geek? Uh, that sounds like a real thing, actually. Like three remastered versions made by six different companies this year. That one. We're in a cosplay group dedicated to it. We got lost on the way. Talking to someone outside. Oh yeah, friend is cosplaying as Alex. I told him to wait outside. Shouldn't he enter? He'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Is this something amiss? There's a girl behind me. Short hair, black sailor uniform, missing an arm. Wait, I'm sorry, what? Wearing jeans under a skirt. What? What? Is that boss? No, that's not boss. Boss doesn't have black hair. Don't spook the bartender. Spook? <clears throat> Anything else? A fluffy dream and be on your way. Oh. Oh, she's, she's shy. She doesn't like to drink. That's fair. Fluffy dream. All right, we can do that. Let's make it a double since I'm feeling generous. It's the holidays. We gotta be we gotta be generous. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, a little bit. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Aged and mixed. Shika, 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 boom. All right, there you go. Yeah, this is the thing. Seriously though, should you leave your friend outside like that? He'll be fine. Started chanting with one of the vending machines. Talking about R&B music, nice. Does so your friend prefer the 80s or the 90s? Or the, not the 90s, 80s or 70s? Oh shit! Oh shit, what? Oh, Steedy, R&B! Coming! <clears throat> Dee is a 1970s pe Who the hell is Dee Dee? Is this a new, a new, a new name we haven't seen before? What the fuck? <clears throat> wait, are we- wait, what? Wait, what? Okay, I'm not, I'm not, I'm confused. Hey, Sam, how you doing? Man, what is it with you and child prostitution? I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. You got tased, lol. Oh god, he'll be fine. Vending machines have very weak tasers. He'll be confused for a couple of minutes, but that will be that. You should go check on him, though. Right, thanks again for the directions. Damn it, well, who the hell is Dee Dee? Goodness. <coughs> At least it wasn't Franco-Belgian comic opinions this time. <laughs> Come on, that can't be a real thing. That can't be a real thing, is it? It might be. Black sailor uniform. I hope I'm just overthinking of it. I, I, I have no idea what that means either. Is that a callback to some other earlier time? <clears throat> Jeans under a skirt. Oh, Dorothy's back! Hey, Dorothy. Oh, why are you why are you sad, Dorothy? Why sad? Yeah, you okay? Kind of wandered in here. I guess I'm a bit distracted. I get you something? Oh, uh, sugar rush. Yeah, that. Oh shit! Oh no! Oh, oh, oh! What what drink cheers Dorothy up? Shit! No! 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 Crap, this is something I should remember. What did she ask for before that she was really happy about? Oh, fuck. No. Oh, crap. All right. I go sugar rush, I guess. Oh, no. Uh, I'm sure we'll figure it out at some point. 
Optional karma train. Well, she looks really down, so let's give her let's give her a little boost here. Seven. No, don't cheat for me. I it's just my bad memory to to blame there. Damn it! All right, let's 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 look through before we mix this here. Maybe something will <gasps> Bad touch. Bad touch seems familiar. Should we risk it? Let's risk it. Let's risk it. Bad touch. Big bad touch. <laughs> I think I think this is right. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I hope this is right. Shake a 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 boom. Please, please, please be correct. Wow, she is really distracted. Oh, damn it, I think I fucked it up. <clears throat> I'm telling everyone about that. I did it because it was you who needed my help, but a hug night is usually one of my most expensive services. Well, it is. <laughs> no, not the drink. Hey, Omega Weapon, how you doing? I'm not gonna punch Dorothy in the gut, come on. Oh. What's the chances of getting any other client that night? Yeah, that's true. Still, it did help. It apparently helped. That's good. Thank you, Dorothy. Let me cool down a lot. Someone for Dana told me someone close to you died, right? Yeah. I don't know more about it. Oh, do we need to talk about the feelsies again? I really don't feel like we should talk about the feelsies again. Yeah, okay, good. I for lost though. I mean it. Thanks, Dorothy. I wondered for a while, do you Lilim really understand death? Sorta, kinda. Whole database is constantly being backed up in the collective source. If our bodies are destroyed, we can be deployed again with our personalities and memories intact. Well, aren't you the lucky ones? Mortality might be different. We do have a fear of death, though. We begin to understand the idea of not being redeployed. Well, we have built-in warnings, the mere idea that nothingness is paralyzing. There are a few that don't mind it, but we do fear death and we don't wish it on anyone. Alright, well, they've got some humanity to them then, sort of, I guess. Okay, good. Don't tell me then, please. No spoilers, after all. Rule number dos. In fact, that was the argument used for abolishing the whole three laws thing. Oh, they got rid of uh, Asimov's three laws, huh? That seems like a bad idea when you're dealing with robots and AIs and shit. Quite knowledgeable about robot history. I think what others have done to make sure I can live like I do helps me not take things for granted. Aw, that's, that's good advice. That's really good advice. Seriously though, those laws were bullshit. <laughs> those laws were bullshit. Howdy face. <laughs> can't harm humans, can't disobey humans unless it's about hurting him. You can protect yourself as long as it doesn't harm humans. I mean, sure, the first eyes were just helpers and tools. How could those laws still apply to them after they achieved self-awareness? Who in their right mind would be abide only by rules inscribed in some old book? Oh, I feel like this is a not-so-subtle dig at most organized religion. And if so, I like it. If I remember correctly, those were the only the distilled versions of the laws some writer imagined over a hundred years ago. Yeah, that's true. They were a reduced version of all of his ideas. However, many authors afterwards took them took to them like they were the very laws of physics or something. Like many other things, people distill and exaggerate what they need and use it to their favor. Also true. <laughs> Nerd! Aw, oh, little smirk. Little Dorothy smirk there. Look <laughs> who's talking, lol. Change the subject a bit, though. Mood's getting gloomy. Your apartment is very comfy, you know? Aw, oh, thanks. It is tiny. It's tiny, but cozy. <laughs> What's his name again? His name is Foray. Or Four. I'm gonna go with Foray. Why Foray? I figured if he ever got lost, at least at least I want to be able to yell, Four! <laughs> okay, so it is just Four. Alright. Correction noted. Happened once, you'd be surprised how many golf players you run into. Every time you play with him, you can say it's foreplay. Ah, uh, <laughs> I didn't, I didn't consider that. Lol. Dorothy, very clever. <laughs> also named after someone. Really? Who? Little kid that wanted to transcend. Movie character or something? Sure, let's go with that. You want anything else? Go with a blue fairy. All right, blue fairy. Since I fucked it up before. Let's not fuck this one up. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two. Optional karma tree. Let's keep her. Let's keep her talking here. 
Uh, aged and mixed. Shaka, 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 shaka. Boom. Bam. Big old blue fairy. Why do they call it a blue fairy? Well, maybe because it's blue. Uh, Pinocchio? Uh, I don't understand. Based off of absinthe, which some call the green fairy. Oh, okay. I think I can see that. First versions of the drink were described as sweeter absinthe. Absinthe is kind of nasty. Like, the taste of it is just kind of... <laughs> And it's powerful as fuck, but <laughs> I had to fix the formula because people were turning green. Shit, not blue. A bluish green. Seemed to have cheered up a bit there. Yeah, talking always helps me get my mind off things. Oh, Dorothy. I'm glad she's happy. There's something I've wondered for a while now. What kind of friends do you have? I mean, are they in your same line of work or friends aside from me? Aw, oh, Dorothy knows just what to say. <coughs> Oh, shots of absinthe? Are you crazy? Don't ever do that. That's a bad idea. And no, I've never actually done it. I can imagine that being a very bad time. Well, there's Lawrence, that vending machine. <laughs> to get past his quirkiness, that is. Also met a lot of nice people working in the streets. From the top of my head, I can think about Nightingale, another Lilum. He changed himself to have Fern, a more wolf like fairy. It's alright, fair enough. Also, a pretty good pianist. Plays in a jazz band. This is a famous jails musician. All right. Also Nadira, a drag queen, the owner of a club, been invited to a few times. She has an animal shelter on the side. Nice. Also sister Clementine, none from an orphanage. Go there sometimes, play with the kids. Aw. Dorothy's so sweet. Why, why is she such a good person, Android, little and robot AI thing? Also almost got adopted once. Oh yeah, the creepy ass Ingram dude hired Dorothy to be his daughter, like, for three years, right? Fucking weird. Yeah. I mean, not to judge on the weird shit that people do, but that's weird. It turns out I already knew your boss. Some years ago, she... Oh, no, no, no! Keep talking, Dorothy! What she got? What do you got about the boss? Yeah, she... you can't just drop something like that and then clam up. Oh, come on! Damn it. Dorothy, you tease. Well, enough tangents. Why are you gloomy in the first place? Gloomy? And you came in. I don't know if gloomy is the right word, but you were pretty quiet at the very least. Quiet for you. Yep. Pretty weird. Don't worry about that. Just had one too many things going in my mind. Okay. That's a very human thing to do as well. Just get, uh, get so stuck in your own mind. <clears throat> it wasn't gloomy or anything. More like distracted. I think I'll go now. Thanks for lending me an ear, honey. Aw. Party tomorrow? Yep. Won't dare to miss that. Yay! Dorothy's coming to the party. Bye, Dorothy. See you tomorrow. Wow. Well, I guess we had three customers before our break, yeah? Boom, boom, boom. Are all Lillen prostitutes in this world? I don't think so. Stella's a Lillen. No, wait, no. Stella's not a Lillen. Shit. Uh, what's his face? Uh, Betty and... What's her... Partner's name? Oh, Deal. I don't think he's a prostitute. He's a Lillen. The cosplaying one that came in, I don't think was a prostitute either. But... Yeah, Stella's a, like a strange cyborg mix thing. She's cool too! I hope we get to see her again. Jamie's not really a, not Jamie's not a Lilum, he's mostly human yet. He's just got some cyborgy parts. Buy more cigars. Uh, cigars are nasty. Uh okay, let's just mix it up a bit. I don't think we get to the back half because we're cruising through these uh We're cruising through these days a little bit. So let's just get rid of some of the front ones then. About the assignment. A little bit more mysterious, okay. The city... Pull out two more, huh? Put some that stitch and snowfall back in there, let's go. I missed something? Unless you count the worst PPV main event fight of... Oh, pay-per-view, lol. <clears throat> Not really, no. Wait, didn't we turn that on before? Is it still going on? Yeah, it's still going on, Dana. What are you talking about? <laughs> Nah, cigars don't even smell good, man. Ugh. Well, to each their own, I suppose, but... 
Cigarettes, cigars, cigarillos, even vaping just smells like ass, so it's like, uh, I don't get what people see in any of that stuff. But whatever. Everybody's got their thing. Going out. I'll have a word with Gogo outside. He was so hyped for that match, he must be devastated. Okay. I'm guessing Gogo, Didi, and Lawrence are the three vending machines outside, right? <laughs> Say's back! Yay! Hi, Say! Aww. Oh, she had nightmares before. That's unfortunate, but I guess what she's been through, that's not really that surprising. Hey, Say, are you busy tomorrow? We're having a party. Bones are healing nicely. Wounds finally closed. The scars itch a bit. Yeah. Well, people dig scars, so Say, you are fucking set. I'm a couple of errands by myself, and I want to come here for a while. So notice the big guy from last time is outside. Buster? Stella doesn't want me being alone while I'm still healing, so she's just taking him with me. What can I get you? Something cold. Something cold! You want something cold? I can give you something cold. We'll just have to go through it. I guess it's anything on the rocks, right? And I do like handing out some bad touches, so... <laughs> Don't take that out of context. Some big old bad touches. Uh, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Bottled drinks. Oh, bottled drinks is the kind of this weird shit. We gave that weird, like, playwright dude a single plum floating in perfume served in a man's hat. Six Simpsons call out. We got the rum from Stella, I think. She gave us the rum because we solved all her cryptic booze orders that one time. I'm not sure where the tea came from. I think I might have bought that, actually. I don't think I've ever given it to anybody. Whatever. It's fine. All right, so we got... Uh, what did we... We got a bad touch going on. What do we need to do with this? It needs to be on the rocks, right? And mix the root. <laughs> shika, 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 boom! There you go, say... Yeah, this is the one. I drink something cold and the weather outside is so cold too. Hey, warm drinks are kind of weird. Like hot tea or, or cocoa or something or even a hot toddy every now and again. But usually I like my drinks cold too. It's not that cold actually. Whoa, climate change in the year of our Lord 2070X, huh? It's a thing that exists. Always had decent tolerance for the cold, so not a good reference. Stella, oh yeah, where's Stella? She's throwing a mega Christmas party tomorrow and is having a meeting today. Damn it! Oh, that means neither her nor Say will be coming to our party tomorrow. Just helping her by checking on some of the things she ordered. Already to invite you to the party we're throwing tomorrow. Well, why don't you both come die anyways? We can make an even bigger mega Christmas party. Oh. Yeah, I guess say. Oh, she's so. She's kind of distraught about it, too. Oh, say, don't worry. Don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. But you know, they want you to have a good time. Oh, say is so sweet, too. Drink a couple of beers in our honor. There's still this Christmas party, is like <clears throat> really big with lots of food and drinks and music. Too much food, though. End of the party, she's left the staff, take home. Unless the staff take home whatever's left. Where does Stella work again? I feel like she's told us. Who buys toys for all the children of her staff members? Oh, that's right. She works, um... Does she work with that Ciro? No, not the Ciro organization. That was the dog thing. Crap, I don't remember now. I don't know about taxes or whatever, but during the whole thing, she just shines. Oh, saying Stella is so cute. Here's a beaming smile that I don't see any other day of the year. <clears throat> Many of the kids have even started calling her Auntie Ella. Aww. Always does her best to put up a tough girl facade. She's very much in touch with her inner child. Has Rad showed up today? Nope. I haven't seen Rad Sheba at all today. Which is perfectly fine. And we're probably close to closing up shop for the day anyway, so whatever. Christmas, Easter, Halloween, the party, and she most likely celebrates it big. This is a weird tune to have while we're discussing this weird, mushy stuff with, say, like parties? I don't mind them. They're a good place to see people, yeah. If party's got drinks, I'll probably be there. Not one to actively look for parties to attend, though. I just don't mind going for them. Fair enough. Only go to parties that Stella is attending, because otherwise I'd just stand there without anything to say. Ah. Say, can't say anything? Ha ha ha. That and I'm not one to wear dresses, you know? Well, that's true. You can go to a party without wearing a dress, though, honey. 
tad too ripped. They don't look cute on me. <laughs> she is rather ripped, is though, isn't she? I hadn't really noticed that before. Well, with all this healing I have to do, I won't be as fit for a while. They're too, um, breezy, too. <laughs> I feel like I'm wearing nothing. But I bet you'd look good in a dress, Jill. Oh, say. You flatter, you. It's been years since I last wore one. I wouldn't know. Last time I wore one, I remember worrying my arms were too thin or something like that. I love a complex, huh? Yeah. Call it out as you see it. Call it out as you see it. Stella has her own. Oh, really? Yeah, what well, can you tell us about her? She does have one. She distresses a lot about her bus size. Well, she was rather amply outfitted. We'll say that. Not that small. I think I'm smaller than her, in fact. Uh, I think she meant the other way there, Jill. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, glad I can pick up what Say's putting down here. A bit self-conscious about having a big chest. Again, I've seen bigger chests than hers, to be honest. Oh. <laughs> Those comparisons are useless here. They really help with complexes. Yep, true enough. Let's go the extra mile to hide it, really? No idea how she does it. I mean, seen her before and after she tucks them away, but I guess I never cared enough to ask the specifics. It's also why when she goes out, she styles her hair in those, um, oh, I see. Something to distract the eyeballs away from the, from the big boobs. They look a bit drilly, don't they? They are a little bit drilly, aren't they? Styles her hair like that to help divert attention away from her chest. Seems affluent enough. Why not go through a reduction surgery? Because she also kind of likes having that size. Picture bus size after her mom, and Miss Carmine is quite proud of her chest. Hope not your chest is a sign of confidence, and a bigger chest means more confidence to show. <laughs> that's a... That's a that's a very body-positive way to think about it. I like that. She says something along those lines a lot. That was quite the admiration for her mom, so I guess breast reduction would feel like betraying her? Oh, fair. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Not drinking enough. Mm. Uh, I think it sounds like she's hiding J cups or something like that. J That's not a thing, right? They don't all—they don't go all the way up to J, do they? In the whole bust measurement size thing, I thought they stopped at double D, and then after that, it was just kind of like, yeah, whatever. Jeez. Guessing a taller or thicker person her size would be normal. She's just a bit shorter or thinner than the norm. You get self-conscious about your bust size, Jill? Well, I don't think so. Not really. I've been more self-conscious about my height. That usually comes up whenever not being average height hinders me somehow. So wait, I don't get it. Is Jill shorter or taller than the average? She seems pretty tall in some of the art, so I'm gonna guess taller than the average, but whatever. It really does go up to a J-cup size? Jesus. Ha. Ah, J for Jesus. <laughs> uh, yes, and now- oops, I missed the question there. What was the question? Oh, I'm asking say if she's hung up on her not my bus size, but rather that I look too manly sometimes. Aw, say. I can't help but wonder if bigger boobs would help with that. You're fine, don't worry. <clears throat> Can get you anything else? That's something non-alcoholic? Alright, um... Uh, yeah, we can give her something non-alcoholic, I guess. Well, that's not non-alcoholic. Uh, we've been serving out a whole bunch of blue fairies lately. Let's skip that one. A crevice spike. Sobering. Well, I don't want to sober. Fluffy Dream of handling out a lot of those. That one's alcoholic, certainly. Frothy water. Bland. I don't want to give her something bland. Strong. Burning. Strong, happy. I would love to give her something happy, but it's got booze in it. It's not gonna work. There we go. Sweet girly happy. Give her a big sparkle star, I guess. Uh, aged and next. Shaka 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 Bam. There you go. I don't want to drink that much alcohol, are you? Makes me feel sleepy, or at the very least makes my legs go numb. That's a very specific symptom of drinking, isn't it? <clears throat> I don't think I've ever had my legs go numb when I was drunk. 
It's an annoying feeling, to be honest. Makes me wonder what's so good about getting drunk. Ah, oh, say. Yeah, I'm not above it, but it's not exactly a pleasant feeling. You feel like you're sleepy even when you're not. The legs go numb, everything starts sounding funnier than it really is. Hey, that's not a bad thing either. You just kind of let go of some inhibitions. That's fine. What's so good about not being able to control yourself? Well, if you reach that point, you've gone too far. <clears throat> The people like feeling numb because that numbness helps them forget their problems. Yeah. True enough. If we don't talk about alcohol, there's a portion of people that can't afford food, or who are suffering from some pain that only alleviates when drunk or high. Also fair. Doesn't sound really logical on paper, but then again, humans are rarely, if ever, logical creatures. That is right. They are largely illogical, irrational beings. Despair and pain cloud your judgment, make you do stupid things sometimes. Yeah, I've seen that firsthand. Oh, say, you know, we don't want to make we don't want to make say sad. Can we talk about something else? Well, there's an ugly side nobody deserves to be part of. It's also a matter of addiction, you know. You start just liking the drink, and then you need more of it. And before you know it, you're hooked. I don't know what they're talking about. Oh yeah, that too. So tell me, what kind of party are you guys throwing? I have no idea, to be honest. Probably just a little casual party, get together with some friends, bring food and chat for a while, and that's it. That sounds like my kind of party, actually. It's better than the whole planning man is still is throwing right now. If you ever throw something like that again, you let me know, you hear? Oh, of course say. You'll be the first to know. Hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> What do you plan on doing now? I'm gonna go check one last area. I mean, no. I, we mean after that, say. What do you plan on doing with the White Knights disbanded and all? Yes, I don't know. Aw. I never prepared a plan B because I figured if you can go with a plan B, why not just make it the plan A? Well, usually the plan B is worse than plan A. That's why. I'm not the brightest person, so I never graduated from college or even high school. I could go for a position with the police, but it wouldn't be as thrilling. And I'm tired of blatant corruption. Sick of it. All right, good on you, say. You got my support there. But, she's alive, yep. I learned something after all that hell and Apollo trust. <clears throat> Life is not something that you can just throw away easily. Following my way out of that place made me realize just how much I want to be alive. Body count left in the bank was ridiculous, but I'm still here. Don't know what I'll do, but I'm alive. I'll figure it out sooner or later, huh? That's a... Uh... Considering what she went through, that's a good way to think about it. That's a little bit more laissez-faire than I would do, but whatever. Say you'll be safe. Bye, Say. Thanks for stopping by. Have fun at your party. Wish you were coming to ours. <clears throat> oh, it's this D-bag again. Art. Was it, what was his last? It was like Art Van something or whatever. He's kind of an idiot. Yeah, strong drink. All right, strong drink. Well, guess what? I got some real strong drinks. What was the one with the nines? It was, uh, no, what was it? It was like, uh, here we go, Fringe Reamer. Bubbly. Oh, that's bubbly, though. He wants something manly. Manly and strong, I suppose. Why not? Hmm. Well, that's sobering. Nope. Eh. Alright, alright, alright. Manly, 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 manly. How about a suplex? That's manly? Yeah, there we go. Bitter, manly, and burning. <laughs> Uh, da, 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 eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, wait, that's not strong, though. Uh, let's look for one that's manly and strong. There we go. Here we go. Spicy. Oh, that's even better. Oh, but I can't double this one up. Because it's already too big. That's fine. All blended. Shaka 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 Alright, that's good, that's blended. Here you go. This'll do. So I brought you here. Nothing special, I just happened to working on a case and I just happened to be in the area. <clears throat> tracking someone, a gun for hire. What about the girl? Crimson something. I'm tracking that girl. Didn't she just get out of that job? I offered a huge amount of money and well, I just couldn't refuse again. Yeah, you could have. You could have, but everybody has their price. There has to be more to that whole thing than just acting as middleman to look for some murderer. How safe is this place? Dude, you are not 
using this place as a safe house, okay? You are not cute enough for that. Protected by the BTC property laws, the walls are soundproof, and I really couldn't give less of a shit about selling info to anyone. Ding, 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 ding. Good work, Jill. Okay, then wait. Soundproof walls? Why? You see those vending machines outside? They're quite talkative, the bastards. <laughs> Be annoying without those walls. Alright then. Have you heard of Lord Lance Lavender? <laughs> a mouthful. Nope. Some big name for Kanye. No, come on! Kanye Vania? Really? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> oh god. That's a that's a dumb name. <laughs> His blood apparently has some weird reaction to Glitch City's nano machine. So once in contact with the air, it does nothing. But it's still fresh and touching someone's blood, the nano machines will initiate a reaction. What the fuck are we talking about? Lord Lance Lavender from Kanyevania. <laughs> so dumb. Alright. <clears throat> Essentially, they'll just eat through the other person's body until there's nothing left. Ew. That's fucking creepy as hell. Using him as a guinea pig to see what causes that reaction if they could be used to fight nanomachine rejection. <clears throat> I don't follow that whole thing, but whatever. Uh-huh. Well, it turns out the Crimson Rose is his daughter. Left years ago to earn her living here, and she hasn't seen her ever since. Could be lying, you know? Doubt it. I did my research. She really is his daughter. And she figured that out earlier. I had no clue who was making the contract, and tracking all the messages to the source would have been too costly. I don't know about that. Knowing who the sender was made things easier. Get you anything else? Got a cobalt velvet. Alright. Cobalt velvet. See, nice and easy. That's fine. But I'm, now he's got me interested in what the hell is going on here, so we're just gonna, gonna double up everything again. On the rocks and mixed. Shaka 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 boom. Go ball velvet. <clears throat> he actually did. It. Hey, Mr. Detective Jackass, what's with the condescending tone here? I actually did it. Of course I did. <laughs> no. What made you accept the contract, anyways? Keeping in mind all the risks you told me last time. You told me you wanted to see her again one last time, or at the very least, deliver a message. Yes, people lie. You made your point. Yes, I did. <laughs> and then I felt like I couldn't say no. I mean, I know what it's like to not being able to find your daughter. Oh, no! Art? Don't make me feel sorry for you, alright? Please don't. I just like to be apart from her not knowing what she's doing, even if she's alright. Oh, goodness gracious. I have a daughter. She's about your age. When she was a teen, we had a big fight. She ran away from home. At first, I just waited for her to show up. But then I started getting worried went out to find her. Find any trace of her. Nobody had seen her. Soon I was, wor I was worried something might have happened to her. Damn it, Art! Ah, playing the sympathy card here. And that's how my tracking skills and list of contacts began to grow. I only found her taking cover in some dumpster. Okay, good. He found her. Unconscious from starvation. So yeah, I couldn't just couldn't say no to his request of finding his daughter. All right. Woo! Sympathy averted. But I don't expect you to understand. So how's the search going? Very close to finding her. That girl's pretty good at covering her tracks. Compared to the, her from before the bank incident, though, she seems slower somehow. Ah. Well, he just let something slip there. Either she's let her guard down or something else is happening. Oh no, well, maybe we knew that about Crimson Rose already, right? What will you do when you find her? I have this letter I'm supposed to deliver to her. I don't know what it says and I don't want to find out. Yeah, that's probably good. Oh, well, she tries to kill you. I don't look like it, but I can take care of myself, bartender. I've got a name, you fuckwit. God, this guy is just not likable. Don't stay so long in this business without picking up a couple tricks. What? Looking like a dumpy, middle-aged fuckwit? Is that one of those tricks? Eh, I guess you're right. Okay, I better go back to work before a trail goes cold. Weird. Aren't you here tomorrow at 8pm? No working beforehand. The bar will be closed tomorrow. Come dressed in your absolute best for having a party, after all. Okay, boss. I'll dress up, maybe. Where's Gil? He stored all of our things in his home because of how close it was to the stores. <laughs> so I told him to go home already and bring the stuff tomorrow. Hold on, wait a bit, and I'll go with you. Oh, alright. Oh, oh, wait. So even if we 
kind of messed up the first drink we gave to Dorothy. That doesn't count as a mistake, huh? Huh. You know what? That's fine. I'm, I'm cool with that. So we got pretty good payment. We got some good tips. We got flawless service bonus because we're awesome. Awesome with the whole bartending thing, I guess. And then we get a little, another little bonus from Boz. Oh my god, she's so sweet to us. All right, and just like that, we got some we got some money back now. Merry Mega Christmas! Let us celebrate Santa's resurrection as the Mega Santa. That saved Christmas from the Redmonds. What the hell? Oh, even future holidays are fucked up. Okay, so it's four, not four A. That's unfortunate. I like four A better. It's more exotic. All right, so let's see what the news has in store for us today. No, nothing of that. <clears throat> it just suddenly stopped and everything is normal again, so I can't stop wondering. Alright, so this is about the, the little I'm getting weird, like, whispers and shit. Prankster is someone who just discovered how to subvert public communication channels in Lilum. Well, it's not really that hard to do if they're public communication channels, right? I mean, even somebody back in the... The 70s? 70s, 80s? Overpowered a TV station broadcast thing and did some weird shit with it, so whatever. I'm guessing in 2070X their security isn't much better. Well, first time, let's not forget that something similar happened five years ago when Linlum advancement was as at its historic high. Fortunately, nothing came out of it. Will it happen again? Time will tell, probably. Oh boy, yeah, I can't wait for this fucking article. Is it sexiest to have an army of robot women? Oh, sexist. I thought that said sexiest. Whoops, I'm seeing E's in there. Have an army of robot women, probably. Owns that artificial intelligence, mind you. The king of the west can't... Oh, nice. Okay. Kit. <laughs> the king of the west, Kan... Kanye, from the western nation of Kanyevania. Oh my god. Actually, 6,000 robot soldiers, all of whom look like the hottest girls around, but this show of quirkiness from the wacky dictator problematic? Dictators from Venezuela or whatever just do what they want. They don't give a shit. All pretty hot, though. If I was him, I'd have done the same. Why bother with the real thing when you can just make them from scratch to match your every needs? Oh, gah. Yeah, men are fucking pigs. I mean, not the act of fucking a farm animal. Not fucking pigs, but fucking pigs. Ah, eh, forget it. Yuri Yuri. Eh. Best show of the season. If you weren't a fan of Yuri or Slice of Life shows already, <laughs> and who isn't, then be prepared to join the Moe Church. This <laughs> oh, my God. I can barely read this. This season with the premiere of Yuru Yuri, one of the funniest shows I've seen in recent years. Tells of the popular danger films, uh, such obvious pandering. Remember an anime was about women doing womanly things and beating the shit out of each other? <laughs> what is this trash? <laughs> Girls are just haters who hate their lives. We're gonna marry- oh my god. Oh, goodness me, that is bad. What? <clears throat> Alright. Savoru, it's party time! Wanna watch it? Anime is for nerds, lol. Says someone with a mega Christmas tree and a fancy cyber bush and posters of her boss and the Dharma and a paper lantern and... Oh, was there Miku? Was there? Did I miss it? <gasps> there is! Yeah. Oh, I wonder if she'll show up to crash our party. That would be neat. Here, Miki. Mega Christmas is here. Way too used to Christmas, but the mega tradition here in Glitch City is mega comfy. Ah, oh, clever. That's an incredibly absurd name. The holiday isn't any less crazy. I find it amazing how GC managed to replace the original festivities. Some places celebrate Christmas eating fried chicken. Here they outright change the holiday. Well, it's not that different considering it's the same days. It's still pretty cool. All right, well, it's kind of weird. Dream person. Every now and then I wonder if I'll ever meet my significant other. All the stimuli from being born just three years ago. Oh, that's right. She is a little too, herself, isn't she? <clears throat> and directly being thrown in this wonderful disaster that is the idol industry makes me think of all the things I'm missing. Accidental love, lost love, or even the gentle touch of another person. I feel like I'm in this bubble that won't let me catch all possible feelings. Well, come back to the bar sometimes. Good to see you again there, Kirimiki. Kiri? Kirimiki, right? Kira. Oh, it's Kira, Miki. All right, all right. Uh, in a sense to get tired of the same environment. I want to meet new people, because even though I have a large bank of knowledge, I actually never experimented with what, with, blah, 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 with what most consider normal. You already know that from my song, Smiley Face. 
Oh, this place, so much energy, so much love, I could feel the optimism. Even after all the struggles you still came to see me, I got to experience the loudest and craziest crowd in my whole career. That said, I'm excited to announce that I'll have a second date in the city. It wasn't easy to set up, but I'm so happy my agency approved it. It's by far our biggest show, and I can't wait to experience it again. Aww. <clears throat> Alright, now we did it. Now we read all the news that's fit to print. <clears throat> okay, is it time for a party? I think it's time for a party. Let's, let's go to work. I mean a party. <clears throat> I'm the nicest clothes I have. Maybe, maybe my work uniform are the nicest clothes I have. <laughs> that was just a guess. These are ah, also a guess. Damn, impression, impression tonight. Gill are in your uniforms too. I can't really show up in casual clothing. I'm being monitored. What about the kilt you wore that one time? Still surprised that one didn't break the dress code somehow. And you, Gil, or John, or Robert, or whatever your name is today? I have many clothes to begin with. People depress me. <laughs> no, but we can't be depressed on Mega Christmas. That's against the spirit of the holiday. Speaking of spirit, how about we get some spirits flowing, huh? Oh, hey, Alma, titty hacker Alma. Everything's in place back there. Ah, hey, Alma. There's a time when people greeted others before saying stuff like that. Aw, uh, don't you even try to push my buttons, all right? Come on, Jill, greet her properly. Welcome to Valhalla. Ah, well, gotcha. Ah, uh, shut up, Gil! Fucking idiot, go arrange the bottles or clean the bathroom or something, you twit. That's not a sign that you need to ease up on the work, I don't know what is. I mean, she's right. But where's our time to mix drinks and change lives thing? We gotta get that in there somehow. Rib sweaters get a free pass. <laughs> okay, boss, you're the boss. Why, though? Oh, okay, she's not gonna answer it. Boo. You came earlier, too. The dogs went with him to get some ice. I had to take it out of the bartending station as a chore, so it's better to buy some outside. What are you doing back there, Alma? Setting up the food warmer. A what? Oh, three days ago. It's amazing. It looks like it's just a set of wires, but you can create a flame with them. A frame. Oh, slip of the tongue. Create a frame with them, really. Put the food inside it, press a button and watch as it warms the food up, just like a microwave, but it's not like a microwave. Infomercial bobble, though. Really useful, but tricky to handle at the same time. One wrong move, we'll be out of food for the night. Dope. Well, Alma, hopefully you're on that, then. Infomercial stuff, too. At the very least, a good idea for gifts. Well, I don't know about that. Like, crappy shit... Infomercial garbage, not good for guests, really. <clears throat> Dynamic entry! Yay, Dorothy's here! I knew somebody came after me. Weird that I've already heard that three times. Oh. Oh, okay, Dorothy, nice. <laughs> that was expected, I suppose. Won't be like that. She's not saying it out of malice or anything. She just found it funny. Taking her side now? Jealous? Maybe a little bit. <laughs> Don't need to fight for me. Oh, it was a little calm ass smirk, of course. I check the microwave wires thing, I'm getting hungry. Hey, Jamie's back with the dogs. Alright, here's Rad Sheba. We saw him at least once tonight. Hey, Jamie. Hey, that's how you greet people. You shut it. Shut it back there. Uh, I'll go help. I'll. Um, uh, <laughs> oh, that's right. Dor Dorothy's, uh. Dorothy gets freaked out by dogs, doesn't she? She goes sweater pups. <laughs> is something wrong? Oh, don't worry about it, Jamie. Don't worry about it. Okay, yeah, she isn't good with dogs. That's right. We're all here, so we can start. Anchorage. <laughs> yes. More not names for Alma, please. I know what I said. How's the food doing? Doing well, but it'll take a bit. You just speed it up. This is microwave, th uh, blah, blah, blah. microwave wire things before, but it's either warm nicely but slowly, or burn that bitch. <laughs> I want those as buttons on my microwave now. Warm nicely but slowly, or burn it all down. <laughs> so how long? 15 minutes or so, a bell will Oh, well, 15 minutes? That's not, that's not that bad. Need to kill some time, then. Oh, uh, truth or dare seems like a bad idea, but okay, fine, whatever. Yeah, Jamie, wisely stepping out of that one. <clears throat> Good, I didn't want to play with that 
dog anyways. Oh, damn it. <laughs> we got one of the two. Oh, oh, oh dear. Gil's in on Truth or Dare? All right, Gil, Truth. Were you ever in the KGB? <laughs> <laughs> and Dorothy's in on it too, of course. I think the time passed faster. I'll pass. You'll play. Ah, oh, damn it. Fucking pulling rank on me. <sighs> Fine. Oh my goodness, this is like a whole new interface thing. Interesting. Okay, I guess it's fine. All right, so there I am, top center. There's Jill. We got Dorothy, we got Jill, we got Alma, we got Dana, we got Gil or John or Robert or whatever, and we got Rad Sheba in here. All right, so truth or dare until the food's done. What about punishment games? Alma, don't even, please. Those are a hassle, just issue new questions or challenges until the other person complies. That said, Jill. Yes? Naughty? <laughs> you start, pick somebody. Oh, okay. Okay, I gotta pick somebody, huh? All right, all right, uh, Alma. Go with truth. What's the most uncomfortable thing that has happened to those arms of yours? Wait, does she have cyborg arms? Oh, that's right, she does. They get stuck a lot on clothes and fibers. Sometimes the joints get jammed with cloth. I'm sure those arms are mechanical. Less than you think, the only thing I truly lost were my hands. My arm muscles are still mine, albeit with some enhancements, and my skin doesn't grow on them. Covered by the plates. Wow, that's that's kind of weird. So she's got the whole cyborg hand thingy, right? But then she's got natural organic bone and muscle, and then it's just plate armor, pretty much? That's kind of weird. More of an enhancement than a replacement, really. Boss, me? Yeah, truth or dare. Please pick truth and let us ask you about your Red Comet thing. <laughs> dare me, I dare you. <laughs> He's an Argentine backbreaker on Nick. Oh, poor Gil, John, Nick, Rob, Robert, whatever. Oh, crap. <laughs> let me guess, that takes Gil out of the game. Okay. Name Joseph Valentine, ring any bells. I know of a Joseph Shine, but not Valentine. This is my turn, uh, Chief, can you drop me? Oh, ha! Huh? Nice. Truth or dare? Oh, dear. Oh, come on, I don't even get to pick it myself? That, that's dumb. That's fine, all right, dare. Pet the dog. Yes, come on, pet me harder, said all you got. Oh, boy. <laughs> Okay, that was a pretty weak-ass dare there, Gil. All right, Dorothy, you haven't been in on this yet. Oh, we're daring Dorothy to do something, huh? Oh no, please don't have it be anything involving the dog. She's really freaked out about him. Put your leg behind your head? Hey, I used to be able to do that. Extra flexible joints weren't just a bluff. Or bluff. I heard something rip. Oh no! <laughs> I wonder if I can still do that. I'd probably have to stretch out a bit before I tried. Okay then, Dana, big dare, another dare. Here to stare, honey, straight in the eyes for ten sec. Well, who, who are you talking about there? Who are you talking about there, Dorothy? I, I'm guessing it's me. Yep, yeah, of course it is. <laughs> No, 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 keep going. Seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> Three spins. No more, no less. Ah, ah suck it, dog. Two. Ah! That was three. Good job. Ah. Wow. Alright, so we do not want to talk about ourselves, apparently. Call me a good boy. That's... I guess what else would you expect from a dog, right? Alright, uh... Boss. Ah, <clears throat> dare. Damn it. Jesus. If we would just do non-mechanical arm... Ooh! Ooh! 
Oh, now we're getting interesting here. All right, you can, you can. Please put me down. <laughs> hey, dinner. How you doing? Good to see you. And I'm just in time for truth and dare. Truth, truth or dare. Not truth and dare. All. Yo, it's your turn to pick, you shit. A dare. Okay, then. Please cross your arms. Now turn a bit to the left. Where is this going? I mean, stage left. <laughs> bit more. Now stand still for a second. <clears throat> Wait, what? What the hell is going on here? Carrying me to a picture. Can at least see it? Nope. Fine. Ah, oh, food's ready. No more truth or dare. Okay, I guess this counts as our break. Oh, Alma followed us out, huh? I mean, hello. <laughs> I'm a bit late for the hello, don't you think? All one? No, I don't smoke. Well, you know, it's always it's always polite to offer, even if you know they don't want it. <clears throat> leaving already? Yeah, technically we celebrated Mega Christmas yesterday. Aw, Alma's leaving already. Boo! Did she even have anything to eat? She just kind of set up the food for us and now she's booking it out of here? Got a message that Diana is making a ruckus, so I gotta leave. Aw, that's too bad. Hey, ruckus, how have you been doing? Fine, I guess all this has helped me keep my mind off of things. Bum, 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 bum. I don't hate the dog, he's just not, he's just not the cutest thing here, so whatever. It's weird to feel the absence of someone you had no contact with whatsoever for the last three years. Holy shit, that's a, that's one heck of a deep ass question. Ask Ayusha or any one of the old literature maidens whose spouse went to war types. Eh, sure enough. And if you had no contact with her, maybe she was constantly on your mind. If you tweak the circumstances, going, it's not that different from one of you going to a war. Uh, I don't know if that's exactly an apt analogy. Although the circumstances make me not want to, I've got to go. Be careful, Alma. Take the chance to spend this time with everyone inside, don't you think? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, let's go in. Let's have let's have a party. What is going on with this now? What is going on? Besides shit being real super loud. supposed to do something here or is it just gonna hmm. oh there we go okay <clears throat> oh I guess that was the party huh now we're back home with four oh that was the end of chapter two huh Jesus there's some long ass chapters but that's okay. That's okay. That means we got lots of game to go. I like that. Having a good time. That was a very big ass moon, wasn't it? <clears throat> Rent is due on the 30th. Please make sure your account is necessary 10,000. Jesus Christ. 10,000 in four days? We're only a fifth of the way there? I don't know. I don't know, man. A lot of that hoodie a lot lately. Shut up. <laughs> Alright, well, how much is this whatever doll thing, right? Alex doll? Here. Oh, that's only 350 bucks. Yeah, that's cheap. Bim, boom, bam. Good enough. But we need 10 grand in four-ish days. That's gonna be, uh... A bit troublesome. A bit troublesome, but we'll we'll make it work. We'll make it work somehow. <clears throat> so let us see what is in the news lately. Yeah, Two Chan's probably gonna be a wash with this news of magical girl show being back. And watching, I don't have a TV. News says Julianne is old and busted. I heard you talking shit about my waifu like I wouldn't find out. 
Yeah, that's how people talk. Well, that's how people to chan, I guess. We censored? I don't think so. The show was rather tame. Going on there, blah, blah, blah. Man, I remember watching this show back when I was like 10. I think I discovered porn thanks to it. You'll never discover Rule 34 for the first time again. Yeah, that's, um... That's true. I've seen this show before. Is it good? Is it good or is it just a meme? It's a meme. Not, not standing. A lot of sequels. Sequels are shit. <laughs> Alright, I think the rest of it, uh, kind of figured it out. Okay, well, that's enough of the two chans. How about the, uh, how about the news? Well, the news, quote unquote. City Olympics. For the 10th consecutive year, the James Glitch City Olympics returns to the emblematic Super Silver Thunderdome. Super Silver Thunderdome! Sunday, Sunday, Sunday! This time with a representative from the elusive country of Kanyevania. Oh boy. I mean, Mr. Quincy is in charge of the committee. Well, the augmented guy that it wasn't easy getting in touch with that Kanye. With Kanye, and now we had to abide by some of his religious rules in order to see some of the best competitors come to the country. <laughs> Kanyevania's main religion. Kanyeism. Oh my goodness. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Is, is this a reference? Yeah. It, it is kind of like over here, over here in America. Uh, let's see what. I don't know if it's necessarily a thing anymore, but sometimes you get like really old retro commercials where they're trying to sell you something or whatever, and usually it's for like, like a monster truck rally or demolition derby or something, and they'll go. Sunday, 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 or Monday, 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 or something like that. You don't need your whole ticket, <laughs> or, or let's see, you paid for the whole ticket, but you're only gonna need the edge, or something something garbage like that. I don't know, it's just kind of funny still. <clears throat> Every solution, but it'll do the trick. Alright, sorry, I didn't even read this last paragraph. And the nanoshades inside the body, and such competitors inside countries perform specific treatments in order to repel a swarm. Eh, yeah, whatever, okay. You wouldn't believe what happens next. Oh, in this cartoon. All right. Cartoons are not for children. Of course they're not for children. <laughs> Who believes cartoons are actually for children? Like, let's be honest. Still large and colorful, but the themes they touch have become rather dark. Well, yeah, usually there's some shit in there for adults, too. In fact, every cartoon on air has dark themes. Come to the point where innocent animated characters are no longer a thing. I suppose children are young adults from birth now. Well, the kids don't pick up on it. That's the whole point. I mean, the themes are serious enough where the kids aren't going to get it, and the adults who happen to see it or whatever will get it. Enter Touch Fluffy Tail, a new show that aims to challenge the current trend. No deep lore, no obscure adult references, no stupid deep plots, just fun with numbers and fluffy tails. I don't want death threats for making a cartoon for actual kids. <laughs> Lol. Awesome. Street race at the Motor City District leaves two dead. Okay, good. I was going to open with Sunday, Sunday, Sunday here, but I'm glad I didn't because that's fun, some serious shit right there. Motor City District is notorious for the number of illegal street races. No dozens of injured drivers it leaves every year. It's time it's been reported that two people died during a race hosted at the Gate Highway. It's known as the Death Lane. Ugh, that's dark. Are you talking about shit for kids and now we're on to this dark subject? Whatever. And the police is currently investigating the deaths as well as the underground world of illegal street racing. Excuse me. We have several suspects in regards to who is running this underworld, but nothing concrete as of yet. Blah, 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 blah. The death of these two youngsters will be the last, however. That's a promise. Uh, can't make that promise, fortunately. All right, we good. We bought a thing. We read the news. Now we got to go to work and get 8,300 bucks by four days, three days from now. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's make the money. Gotta make the money. The money is mine. I was in the back sorting ingredients shipment, and I've got things to do. The dog's in charge. Okay, bye. No, why is the dog in charge? Don't I pull rank over the dog? Come on. Wait, the dog what? First order, pet me. No. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No. Fuck you, Red Sheba. I'm a bartender. No. I'm in charge, and I want you to pet me. Oh, uh, crap. All right, well, good. At least we didn't actually have to do it. All right, so let's get rid of that. And that. And that. And that. Uh, blip, blip, blip. Blip, blip, blip. 
Did we just get rid of snow? Oh wait, we've already still got snowfall in there. Uh, let's throw Neon District back in there. Let's put Out of Orb. Did I already get... Eh, fuck it. Doesn't matter. And... How about this one? This one was pretty rocking, right? Yeah, kind of electro industri industrial house type stuff. Sounds good. Ba -ba -doo -down. Time to mix drinks and change lives. <clears throat> Not gonna fetch you, Rad Sheba. Fuck you. I already did on a dare from the fucking holiday party, so go away. You're scaring away the customers. Ah, lol. Beat it, Gil. You're scaring away the customers, too. Go and clean the bathrooms again or something. Who the hell is Will? I don't know. Nobody. Be rude with poor Will. What is it with everybody just dumping on Jill now? Come on. Let me just psych you up then. Oh, for fuck's sake. No, stop with the puns, please. Yes, Jill, thank you. Ugh. All of you, just stop and go away so I can serve some drinks, all right? You, stand by. Only vet me. Go. No. <laughs> exactly the fuck just happened there. It's so weird. Oh no, why is it for Helio though? <clears throat> Sounds so weirded out because you're a fucking weird ass question mark forehead having kind of idiot. Bombastic soliloquy. Ooh, there's a couple of ten million dollar words. Well, putting up an act can be tiring, you know? Yeah, I knew you were just fronting for something, you idiot. It's all an act then. Wasn't it obvious? Yes, it was rather obvious, but your cryptic drink orders the first time were dumb. Don't do that again. You mind getting me a bleeding Jane? Alright, fine. Fine, fine, fine. We can do that. A very direct request. Uh -huh, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All blended. Shika, 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 shika. There we go. There you go. Leading Jane. Already putting on a back. Here to explain? Long story, and honestly, rather not talk about it. Alright, fair enough. Made you change your mind. Now, for one thing, it's safer for me now. The Pompous Buffoon Act was mostly a way to avoid raising suspicion. Suspicion, you say. All right. That was your way of avoiding suspicion? Was acting like a total dipshit? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just straight up yes. You know how weird that sounds, right? It sounds weird? Yeah, sure does. Try not to raise suspicion, but you act in a bombastic manner that screams you're there. Everyone dismisses the fool as a buffoon and moves on. Okay. All right. Well played. Well played, Virgilio. Well played. You might be right if I were talking about hiding myself, avoiding certain crowds of people. Maybe you might call everyone's attention, but then everyone just decides I'm harmless and disregards me. Wow, okay, so this dude's a little bit smarter than we than we kind of initially assessed him to be. I don't know how erratic my actions are become harder to read, giving me yet another layer of enigma. Huh. Well, congrats. No offense, but I fell right into your plan. Dismissed your actions as those of a fool and moved on. Yeah, you and me both, Jill. <clears throat> you can you give me something spicy? Alright, you want something spicy? Give me something spicy. What we got that's spicy? I mean, Mars Blast is spicy. He just had a Bleeding Jane. How about a Bloom Light? Can we double this one up? Five fives? Yep, sure can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Rocks. Mixeroo, shaka 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 bam! I fucked it up. How did I fuck it up? Two, four, six. Oh, aged. God damn it. Well, we're not serving him that glitchy mess. That glitchy ass pile there. And eight. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Aged on the rocks and mixed. Shake, 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 boom. There you go. 
too fascinated by the spiciness. Not really. I don't I don't really like spicy drinks. Spicy for humans might not be spicy for other animals. Hell, what's toxic for us might not be for other creatures. Yes, I mean, that's kind of how biology works there, Virgilio. You like spicy things, bartender? I do not. Your stance is actually weird to come across, really. Well, I, yeah, I suppose most things are either you like them or you don't like them, right? It's very rare to be truly neutral about something. <clears throat> and either love spicy things or hates them with a passion. Well, I don't know about that, but whatever. You like it? Lots. Not only in regards to painfully spicy things, but also the way mild or slight spice adds to a meal. Always had this dream of opening a curry stand. As things are, I might actually pursue that dream. I have a name. Thank you. I am Jill. Virgilio. I, I learned how to pronounce your kind of weird name. At least call me by my name. Put up with me all this time without lashing out. Should apologize for my behavior. Thank you at that. Aw, all right. I don't exactly forgive you yet, but we're on the way. Who did you last time you came? Granted, you came at a really bad time, but I should be the one apologizing. You're a client after all. Well done. I'm actually surprised that nobody else has had violently lashed out at me yet. For being a... acting like a total dipwad? Yeah, okay. I can get that. I can be curious as to who you really are, though. <clears throat> Is Rahelio even your real name? Might be, it might not. Oh, boy. Never gonna get a straight answer out of this guy, are we? If I'm a magnet for people who hide their identities in sordid past. Gil, Jamie, you... No, don't mind me. Don't mind me. Just a bartender shooting my mouth off. How did you find this bar? Avoiding some chaps and came to this alley. That time here I've heard avoided people and ended up here enough times to make me believe that the original owner built the bar here thinking about the runaway public. They sound like a criminal. Well, you're not... I don't think you're necessarily a criminal, Virgilio, but you're not really helping your own cause, exactly. expression runaway doesn't just mean people escaping the law though yeah also true you just want to get away from somebody you don't feel like talking to right had people avoiding stalkers or solicitors i've seen people more shocked by an insistent salesman than a shaggy figure sh shaggy figure well that might also be true shady figure Maybe because the salesman is a more active predator <laughs> lol yeah sales people i swear <clears throat> Troublesome part of the city, right near this shopping district. Let them know there's a bar and they'll come. Sorry, I should stop rambling to myself so much. You think I'm sort of criminal, though? Well... I don't know why you'd have this question mark just tattooed straight on your forehead. Unless that's just a weird part of your hair that kind of hangs down. And then you've got a mole, like, dead set in between your eyebrows. For all I know, you might be the buff... Boon, I've seen the other days. Hey, in case, can I get something bitter? Alright, something bitter. You got it. You got it. And he said he likes spicy before, so is there a spicy bitter one that we can do? Bitter manly strong. Bitter manly burning. He did, whoa, well, he did say something about so spicy it hurts or something, right? Okay, let's go with that one. Pile driver, right? Yeah, there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mixerood. Shaka, 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 boom! Bam. All right, here you go. <clears throat> this works. Oh, it only works? Come on, man. You gotta give me more than that. You're not helping. Uh, meaning he's not doing himself any favors, meaning he's not, um... He's not really disproving that he's a criminal. So he's not saying anything in his favor. I hope that kind of makes more sense. You like coffee, Miss Bartender? I'm not really a fan of coffee myself. Where does it may sound from a smoking bartender? No, I don't. I get it. It's not for everyone. Cat Boomer the other day. <clears throat> what about her? Still scared of her? <laughs> why why is he scared of Stella? Stella's nice. Stella's sweet.
It looks so familiar. Maybe you're mixing it up with another cat boomer? No, that's not it. It's like the bandage girl last time. What is what is this dude's deal? Ah, thank you, Sam. Yeah, that's probably a, a better way to describe it than I was able to muster. <clears throat> Even with the bandages, there's just something really familiar about her. You need to stop thinking about it. Answers usually come to you when you stop stressing out. That's very true. Which is weird. Well, leave you for now, bartender. Thanks for everything. Oh, Mr. Detective. Damn it, we've got all the D-bags swinging by today. All right. Here we are. Another mute person wandering into the bar. Anything I get you? Gut punch. All right. L is straight into the point. That's good. That's fine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, all right. You better be telling me something for all the stuff I'm giving you here. Shake a shake a shake a shake a shake a shake a boom. Here. Gut punch. Oh, got it right. What's up? What? Bit of holiday blues. No, there's more to it than that, Art. Come on. You're not the holiday blues having type of person. Looks more like a Festivus kind of guy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he, he certainly does, doesn't he? <laughs> he certainly does. Oh my goodness. I did notice that a little bit before, I just wasn't sure if that's what they were going for, if they were just going for a generic bald guy. Why does everybody keep saying that? <laughs> uh, well, Festivus is a celebration going against the capitalist madness that is Mega Christmas. Is that really what it was? I don't remember. And you know, cheapskate. <laughs> you have something to say, say it. Whoa, dude, all right. Just don't, don't mind my little parentheticals, all right? I'll refrain. Although now that I think about it, holiday blues is not really tied to a specific celebration. Yeah, I mean that could be any holiday. I had people tell you that they didn't know that the, not that there's anything wrong with that came from Seinfeld. Oh, did it? I honestly didn't know that myself. Although I never really watched Seinfeld, so I'm sure I, there's plenty of ins and jokes and shit that I'm not going to get from it. It always seemed like kind of an annoying show to me, but whatever. That's just me. Season of consumerist craze. That's right. Woo-woo! Get on the capitalist holidays. And Christmas is just a mockery of what the real Christmas once was. Well, what Christmas is now is kind of a mockery of what Christmas used to be. So, I guess the mockery kind of goes in stages. It just gets more mocked the, the further along it goes, right? This season has slowly become enslaved to the corporations over time. Holiday spirit can only be manipulated so much. Well, I don't know if we've kind of reached endgame on that yet. <clears throat> People who didn't know who Roger Ebert was. Oh, that's a, that's a tougher one. <laughs> but I suppose, you know, younger folks might not know about it, right? Might not know about Ebert. Then came the turbo male guy. He started a yearly tradition of dressing up like Santa in the ring. Speaking of, let's turn on. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. Yeah, there we go. That should make Jill happy. <laughs> turbo male? That can't be his ring name. It is. Really such a tacky name? Partner was Buster Master, and his rival was Dr. Chris Max. I'm sure that's a reference to some other wrestling stuff, but. Then again, I never got into wrestling when I was a wee lad, so whatever. <clears throat> I mean, there's a wrestler that dressed up as Santa every year. I also knew that the guy became insanely popular and stuff got out of control. And of course, there's that part everyone sings about. Santa became Nega Santa thanks to the Redmond family. Oh my goodness. Nega Santa sees the error of his ways becomes the mighty Mega Santa, renaming the holiday Mega Christmas. <laughs> <clears throat> Then every company jumped on the bandwagon and Christmas was Mega Christmas before everyone, anyone noticed. So you're telling me that the guy who somehow managed to rename the holiday went by the ring name Turbo Mail? <laughs> yep. That makes the whole holiday sound like a joke. Whoa, ding, 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 ding. Holiday is a joke. You're telling me you don't celebrate Festivus? No, I don't. <laughs> 
You know what kind of people celebrate Festivus? Oh boy. I'm waiting for the rim shot on this one. The kind that's so lame and bland that they can only talk about how they're bitter because they celebrate Festivus. <laughs> you mean the same kind of people who only speak Lojban? <clears throat> or actually the only people who are able to speak Lojban? Well, like those jerks who only eat nuke and think they're better than everyone else. Let's see. Anything else I can get you? A fringe weaver. All right, was that the super powerful ones? I hope it is. Oh yeah, let's get some jazz up on this joint. It is the super powerful one, all right. He's being awful talkative, so let's see if this will make him even more talkative. Aged and mixerude. Shaka, 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 boom. Ba, 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 ba. Issues with the city lately? What's the word on the street? Shouldn't I be asking that? I don't know. Nothing new. I'm seeing a white knight stop, so there's that. Something about the armor. I haven't gotten much on that one yet. Huh? Huh. Alright. All in all, the madness following the attack on the bank seems to have settled down a bit. Any other details about the attack emerged yet? All records of whatever happened there have been long deleted. <clears throat> Security cam, system logs, everything was wiped. Whatever happened there, it's become even more of a mystery. Uh, I hope Say's gonna be okay from all this. No, Say went there in the first place? Well, we don't have any hard evidence of it. Hey, bartender, you okay? Sorry, got distracted. Not much to say. Odd silly rumor here and there. The vending machine's taser's malfunctioning and applying more strength. <laughs> or that the writer of The Last Rain in the World is actually living here as a brain in the jar. Well, we did see a brain in a jar many days ago, right? Those are the kind of rumors you hear from crackheads. Crackheads might hold that one last piece of info you need, but you also hear crap like that. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Art, I guess. Go celebrate Festivus some more. Oh wait, she's hot. Gil, you there? Alright. That's a good break. She does seem really tall, doesn't she? <clears throat> I guess that's what she was talking about before when she was kind of self-conscious about her height. Beep boop. Pretty quiet outside. Well, I guess that's good, right? Alright, let's try to knock out some of our stuff here. Uh, do I still have snowfall in here? No. Let's get the remix up there. Oh, Kim's back. Hey, Kim. Miss Kim. Just Kim. <clears throat> That's some money in Mega Christmas. Wouldn't you be happy? Yeah, sure would be. Have a beer. All right, you want a beer? I'll get you a beer. I'll get you a big beer, because it's the holidays. we got to be generous. Oops, that was too many. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All mixed. Shaka, 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 boom. Here you go. A beer. Ba da ba ba da ba da. Well, the jukebox and the interface here. Is that the jukebox? No. Oh, oh, that's an exit button. Interesting. Like, I've tried clicking about a little bit, but nothing seems to happen. Like, the only thing I can change, really, is the TV. Let's get some wrestling going there, I suppose. Oh, oh, alright. Thought I saw something happen there. The text jukebox. Where's... Oh, here. Oh, nice. So, how have you been doing, Kim? Pretty good, actually. Hair stopped falling out. Appetite is coming back. Whoa, what the hell happened? Well, that's just how much the newspaper was weighing on me until I quit. Oh, okay. Work stress. That shit'll happen. When I stopped feeling defeated, I actually felt like I achieved a victory. Like, like I got a hold of my own life. Start bartender training in January, too. <gasps> is Kim gonna be a bartender because of us? 
some research and it sounded cool. Gives me many benefits, so it sounds like a good thing to do for the time being. I don't know if it's what I want to do for the rest of my life, but it's a good start. Yeah, that's good. It's good to have a little direction, you know? <clears throat> Give you some time to think. Don't go for BTC housing plans unless you absolutely have to. Yeah, my fucking rent is $10,000, apparently. Jeez. Sign a contract for at least five years. Wow. For cut and pay and tips. I'll go for that one, but I backed down a bit at the last minute. Well, I took a chance when the BTC found me an apartment. And instead of signing a BTC contract, I asked for just a regular one. No idea how I got away with that one. Huh. <laughs> well, I thought those apartments were built by them or something. Back in England, they are. They have their own real estate companies. Apartment complexes where they have that means to give discounted rooms to employees. <clears throat> this city real, re, realty Nua holds an unspoken real estate monopoly. Yeah, great. Monopolies, aren't they great? Aren't they fantastic? <laughs> All right, now. <laughs> So BTC can't easily offer such promises. Lentinu is a bit weird as far as companies go. Their name has become synonymous with quality, a brand built around certain expectations. Truth is, Lentinu has done little to no work in the last 10 years or so. When they started, they managed to sell and build upon plots of land that everyone gave up on. They became a big name as far as real estate goes. In reality, the company itself has actually done less than you'd think over the years. At the time, they are cashing in on their established properties or letting others work with them. I believe in the last 10 years or so, they've only started around three or four new projects. Is that too few? They're all expansions of their already established ones. <clears throat> Just read a lot about it over time, especially after hearing my landlord ramble about them. It's all par for the course for real estate companies, really, I suppose. That's why it's, I wouldn't say necessarily it's always better to own your own property, but usually it works, uh, Works in more circumstances than uh, than uh, than not, I suppose. It's true that when you hear a name so much, you expect something. I don't know different. Enough rambling on my side. You must be thirsty. Do anything else? Sugar rush. S U G A R rush. Da ba da ba da. Sugar rush. Sugar rush. Uh, da 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 da. Do up. <laughs> All right, that should be good. Mix a mix a mix a mix a mix. Boom. Two hundred bucks. There you go. Jill, I came here today to thank you. Oh, thank you for what? When I first showed up here, I was in a really rough spot. I was shocked. I was tired. It was a total mess. Oh, that's right. She was the the passed out lady that the boss brought in with her one day, right? Even said some really mean things, but she had patience. What what did Kim say? I don't remember what she said. I just imagine you helped me cool down, your boss saved me. That's right, she was really panicky at first, which, you know, is understandable, considering. I don't know, I felt like I had to tell you all that before the year ended. Aw, Kim, you're sweet. Anyways, how are you doing? Last time you were a bit off. Better now, thanks. Glad to hear, it's weird to see you like that. Always felt like you were putting up a cool bartender act. Yeah, the coolest bartender. <laughs> did? You don't? I don't. Are you sure? Wait, wait, what? Okay, what's this in reference to now? Putting up a cool bartender act. Okay, all right, she's just referencing the cool bartender act. Is what everyone else has described as being cold. Oh. I mean, cold and cool do mean the same, but well, well, not really. Not in this context, at least. And I don't try to put up that act. Sorry to disillusion you. Too much of a mess to do such a thing, lol. Disappointed? Surprised, actually. What led me to believe that sh Wait, what? Wait, what, what, what? All right, so now, now I'm a little confused. Did I miss something here? Uh, I'm disappointed. No, I guess not. Okay. Uh, and this, this kind of sentence is kind of confusing me a little bit. Surprised, actually. What led me to believe that you were putting on an act? More importantly, how can I make use of it when I get assigned to a bar? Oh, okay, so now she's... She is fishing for something. How much have I had to drink? I'm almost through my first one. I did make it a little stronger tonight, though. Mondays and all. Let's investigate further. Good luck with that. Let's try something bubbly. Alright, you want something bubbly? That's something bubbly. Oh. 
<laughs> oh wait. Wait. I've got a I've got a different idea. I need a lot of money in a few days, so we're gonna go with uh We need we need expensive drinks. Sorry, Kim. 280? Is that the uh, most expensive of them all? Yep. Alright. Of the bubblies? Although this has quite a bit of booze as well, so this might actually do it. All the rocks and mixed. Shika 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 boom! There you go. Hey, you gonna need some ice. Oh, I know you. Thank you, thank you. Oh, skin. Uh, nice to see you're fine. More than fine, I'm alive. I'm here. I avoided my, my biggest mistake in my life thanks to your timely intervention. I think that she was the one that jumped off that building way back when. And boss went in and flew up and saved her. Oh, it overcame me. I just felt like 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 everything was shouting. Yeah, been there too. Couldn't stop the shouting, so I just felt like like. Thank you. Oh, I didn't even mention it. I just did what I felt was right. Jill, ice, please. Sure. Here's some ice. You all right? Did you seek help? I know a couple of people I could help you. Don't worry. Perfectly fine. I've gone to a therapist a couple of times. If he says I'm okay. Something overcame me, but she intervened, and I don't know what to say. I already said thank you. Seeing that you're fine is more than enough for me. All right, that's good. That's real nice. I was come to thank you earlier. I owed you that, at least. Don't worry. Just go out and be happy. You have a second chance? Use it as best you can. Happy New Year, Jill. Thanks again. Aw, thanks, Kim. You're sweet. A couple weeks ago, I read some news about a woman saving a suicidal girl catching her midair. Ding, 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 ding. Jill, nice of you to catch up with us. Know something about that, boss. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, that's a that's a terrible I'm really lying face. <laughs> Whoever it was probably just did it because it's the right thing to do. Feeling lonely? That voice. Anna, hey Joe, long time no see wait, have we seen her before? Did she come in here before? I don't I just I saw the little Chivo pop for something to do with this lady here, but I don't I don't understand. I don't remember her if she came by. Been over a year. Okay, so good. She hasn't been in the bar since. Or she hasn't been in the bar, period. Okay, good. I just want to make sure I'm not forgetting anybody. I oh, am yeah, visiting you last week, but things were pretty heavy back then. Yeah, no shit. I just waited in the background until the tension wore off a bit. Dr. Joe, I'm talking to you here. Ignore her, she'll leave. Not an unfathomable sense of dread. You can't, you can't just ignore me, you know? Oh, wait a minute. Is this what, who, what's her face was talking about standing behind me or whatever? Huh. Black hair, dark sailor's uniform, jeans under a skirt, I would guess. Julianne Stingray, I'm talking to you. Wow, Stingray, that's a fucking rad ass name. I hope that's a real ass name. Calm down, don't fall for her taunts. I actually know my full name, though. Full name was Julianne Natalie Stingray, or did you legally remove the Natalie? Oh, wow, that was a little glitchy. Uh. Hum. Yeah, that's a little... Mm. I don't know. That's a rad last name, though, if that's true. Yeah, I mean, they're kind of written in the middle of the screen. <laughs> Alright, now we got some fourth wall breaking bullshit going on. You're going crazy. It's such a self-centered way to see the world. You assume that you're crazy because you can't accept that this world could be weirder than you think. The world is pretty gosh dang weird, isn't it? The world is amazing because of the things you can't just you just can't explain, huh? I don't know about that. And just because only you experience something doesn't mean it's a liar that you're crazy. I mean, just look at ASMR. ASMR is weird. I mean, I can sort of get the appeal of it, but it, uh, just to me it seems weird. Pretty sure that's what a crazy person would say in this scenario. You acknowledged me, lol. Uh, alright, this is kind of weirding me out, just a little bit. That's good, I want... What? Why? Last time you came, I had to clean the drinks I served you off the floor, lol. Don't be like that. Thanks for also paid for with my money, exactly. I don't know how you did it, but that set any and all plans I had for the rest of the week off balance. I'm gonna buy some curry with the money I had to put up for those drinks. Dog duty done, I know we have slow days for God's sake. Oh, Gil, you're standing in front of my weird, glitchy hallucination, apparently. <laughs> I 
Hey, hey man, if you're into ASMR, that's fine. I mean, I think it's weird personally, but you you do what you need to do. I'm fine. Good job out there. I'm back. Oh, poor, poor Anna's getting ignored. <laughs> ah, boss, what happened? Meeting cut short. At least I drank the Hess, Hessies, Hessy, the bottles. <laughs> you okay? You look distraught. I'm fine. And you're wearing jeans under a skirt. Yeah, okay, so that was whoever it was that saw that thing. Who was talking about uh, her standing behind me? Oh, it was the weird, uh, it was the Lilum that we didn't catch the name of with that other girl that was in here earlier. Yeah, 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 okay. <laughs> why? Just why? I mean, sometimes you want to be comfortable, but also you want to look stylish, right? Hunoi people, of course. Is that a new trend? What does she think she's doing? Everyone feels like it's not quite right. Everyone thinks they should call you out. But they never do, because people are cowards. <laughs> because it's not that wrong. Also true. There are things like spats, after all. Wait, 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 what? I think I, I, think I uh, interpreted that as the wrong definition of spats in my mind there, but whatever, it's fine. It's uncannily right, not all that wrong, and they can't stop staring. Anyone other than me could see it, though. They could see it if they wanted to. Bill, you're making an awful lot of faces there. Are you okay? <laughs> I'm fine. Just remembering some stuff. And it's not being crazy. Yeah. Yeah, it seems like a thing you would miss, right? Leave me early today. You stay here. <laughs> Whoops. I say the loud, quiet, the loud part quiet and the quiet part loud. Be the first person I've met who mixes their inner and outer voice. Ha. <laughs> Thought I saw one of those dogs near the counter. Sorry. Leave a bit earlier today? Sure. Thanks for taking care of the fort. No, actually, I don't want to leave early. I need money. Please? Can we work like a shift and a half or something instead? You haven't left yet. I'll thank you when you leave, lol. That's not what I... Whatever. <laughs> Poor Gil. Ah, <clears throat> uh, we're not really making a whole bunch of money here. That's not good. <laughs> That's really not good, actually. But at least we got the whole flawless thing again. Just watch Night of the ID Snatchers. Buying a poster of it will prevent her from getting too distracted. Oh no, stop making me buy shit. I need to save my money. There are cats in heat outside. I have blue balls if I still had any. <laughs> oh, poor four. Oh dear, this is gonna be a problem. So what do I need? I need a poster or something, right? Here, this. Oh, it's only 250 bucks. That's cheap. Then boom, bam. Ugh. Well, hopefully we make some more money. Because that's just not going to go well if we don't. Oh, boy. Can we talk about the slice of life Yuri that's going on here? I believe I'm alive for this day. Thank you, base god. All boards for I want other boards, you idiot. <laughs> boy, blobs. Lol. Well, that's a very... That's a very tame thing to call somebody you don't like on a two-chan style board. This new season, but the actual best one is still up in the air. And our service get cut off tomorrow because I couldn't afford it. A job, you stupid whatever that is. <clears throat> Here we go. Coco, comfy couch, mega Christmas, snow, heater, blanket. Let me try and fall asleep when it ends. I think I'll be all right. I have work tomorrow. Ha ha ha. Lol. Actually, I shouldn't. I shouldn't complain. Having having a job is good. Having a job is good. Uh, I think the rest of this we've read already. Yep. 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 Biker gang arrested after vandalism during protests. There's one of the largest biker gangs in the Motor City sector. Blah 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 blah. The group's leader and her entourage. Ooh. Haunted the site of a protest last Friday. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> oh dear awesome okay I'm not going to explain what I'm laughing at because it's just funnier that way first that they were unjustly arrested that her gang was only there to defend protests from the white knights that's I, I love that that's great I love that heard of us they know they can't take us down the street so they use protesters as a shield and we had no option but to surrender 
Currently detained and waiting for trial. Formal charges are unknown. <laughs> Brilliance. Oh, the references are so good. I love it. Parliament discusses anime influence. Yeah, I know. I know. I know who Christine Love is. That's that's good. I, I love I love seeing shit like that in these games. So it's awesome. Uh, all right. Do, 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 do. All right. During an unusual meeting held at Parliament today, delegates discussed the effects of anime on the population. <laughs> There's only about filth, trash. Well, if you're calling it nothing but filth and or trash, you've watched the wrong anime, my friend. And for the workers' party yelled during the meeting, if I could choke every single writer and animator out there, I'd do it. Choke them with my own enhanced hands. Only anime studio heads responded. Blah 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 blah. Oh, I see. Well, thank you then. I think they would ban it if it wasn't bringing in so much money into the local market. Uh, I do agree that anime is trash, but I'll save the genre. You can trust me. Yeah, of course. And the brain tried of oh, tired. I'm sorry. I heard that it's tried. My goodness. Hey, the brain tired of name change requests. A few weeks ago, we wrote about Taylor, one of the brains from the Solo Anima Project. Okay, I think that was the brain in the jar that visited us the other day, right? One of the highlights from the interview that was unfortunately stripped from the finished version was a straight comment about how many people asked Taylor to change their name to... Hey, what? Oh, brain, Brian, brain. Okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. It's just like, whoa. All right, that was a little too deep for me right now. Uh, people try to be funny, but I won't change my name for a punchline. I like the name Taylor, and there's nothing wrong with Brian. I just don't want to be part of the joke. Fair enough. They're currently looking at the chances of becoming a senator in the upcoming electoral season. Well, with any luck, there will be plenty of vacancies. Boom, 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 boom. All right, so we did the thing. We bought the thing. We are not looking good in the whole money sitch, but we'll see what happens. We will see what happens. So off to work. We only have a few days to make some cash. So we're gonna have to be a bit more mindful about the drinks we uh, give to people now. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's good shit. Let's have a New Year's party this Saturday. Isn't that a bit soon? Why, did someone famous get killed at a New Year's party? Whoa. No, but, I mean, we just had the Mega Christmas Party. Gil? He's coming too. I mean, it's not like he has anything else to do. Hey, no, I mean, where is he? He's escorting a client of his to the station. He should be back any second now. Oh, look at that. Speak of the devil and he shall appear. <clears throat> coming to the New Year's Party too, Gil? Not like I have anything else to do, so... Well, good, yeah. You sound so super excited about it. Oh, shit. Told you. For depressing people. Yeah, the kid from the other day, Gabby, I think you called her, asked me to give you this. I believe it's a note. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, wait, whoa, whoa. Why is that so loud? Apologize for my behavior. I'm still hurt by my sister. Jesus, why is that so loud? Oh, that's not even affected by the sound settings. Jesus, I'm sorry that's so loud. I'm just gonna have to speak really loudly over it. And for my sister's death. Jesus, wow. All right. Okay. One, one second, please. <laughs> That's really loud, even for me. Oh. Oh. Oops. That was mute. There. Oh my goodness. Why was that so? Why is that part so loud? Whatever. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's fine. <clears throat> Still hurt by my sister's death, and it wasn't fair to take out all the stress on you. Let Paul and put the blame on you. Well, thank you. And so it feels weird to ask this of you after I. Oh, that's still kind of loud, isn't it? There we go. Well, it feels weird to ask this of you after how I treated you, but I really want to talk to you. I want to catch up, to chat for a while, and to do what you were doing with me before I lashed out. I understand this freedom you talked about, the fear that drove you to a fight with my sister. I'll go back to the bar on the 31st. I won't take much of your time. If you don't want to see me after all that? I'll understand. Please, I really want to talk to you. Aww. Oh, that's very big of her to admit that. Girl has a big vocabulary. She's always a smart one. 31st is written in different handwriting. She asked me when you would be here and relatively free, so I told her about the party. 
I also assumed you'd say yes to the party, which might not have been the best idea now that I think about it. And second thoughts about coming to the party. What? Why? All right. Okay, now we're back to normal volume, so let's turn this back up. Goodness me, that was a sh... That kind of scared me a little bit. I really don't want to face Gabby again, but... You have to face your demons eventually. You really do. It's it's better to do that than to just kind of let it ride. That's coming back to me, what drove me to never go back and apologize after all these fear and shame. Shame because I know I made a hideously stupid mistake and it's painful to mi misface your mistakes. Yes, it is. But... Do it sooner rather than later. Fear of what they might say. With Lenora, we never broke up formally, so I was always afraid that if we were to meet again, she'd break up with me. I don't want Gabby to tell me that she hates me to my face. But didn't she say that last time, or did she just kind of storm out without saying anything after we unloaded on her? Lenora was in the right to break up with me, and Gabby is in the right to hate me. I don't want her to. Maybe if I never see her again, she'll never tell me that, and... Oh... Uh... No, you don't want to live with that fear the rest of your life, honey. Don't do it. Yes, thank you, boss. Talk some sense into this girl. My goodness. Thinking backwards, didn't the letter say she wanted to understand you? If you bail out on this, she will hate you. Yeah, no doubt. Not only that, but you're getting a new chance here. You want to live the rest of your life running from another memory? Didn't she just say to Armitra? <laughs> oh, poor Alma. <laughs> oh, poor Armitra. To say to Armitra that she hated feeling like that? Titty hacker. Oh yeah. All oh, right. <laughs> Love that everybody knows her as Titty Hacker. I don't know what happened when you fought with that girl's sister, but now you have a chance to make amends. Not only that, you have us watching your back, so I want you to think about this. One day of fear or a lifetime filled with regret. Which one do you pick? One day of fear. One day of fear always. I hate a feeling like that. I won't run away this time. Good. Because I would have gone to your apartment and dragged you out of there if need be. Well. Maybe that can still be arranged. <laughs> That's what friends are for. Aw. Anyways, let's start the day. Yep, let's, let's get some tune skis rolling here. Oh, whoa, we're talking about two weeks ago now. Got another note in the mail. This one's from Lenore. Is that the envelope you took away from me in a panic? Ah, oh, okay, okay. Opened it? Nah. I don't open it with Gabby. You're facing one fear, might as well face the other. Ugh. I don't know if you want to go too far into that. That seems like a bad idea to face, like, two serious fears at once. Nah, just know she's capable of doing all that. Aw. Go secure stuff for the party. Call me if you need anything. Keep it up to you. Thanks, Gil. I know I give you a lot of shit and tell you to go clean the bathroom a lot, but thanks, Gil. Hey, Stella's back and she looks so happy! Hi, Stella. How are you? All well, the party for the staff and their children, you should have seen the faces on the kids. Them in that Santa suit at the last minute the other day was totally worth it. She does have very big drill-like hair, doesn't she? My goodness. Never really noticed. And this is even have been popular this year. I heard they were sold out in most places. There was this weird shortage. <laughs> weird shortage, huh? Luck was on my side this year. <clears throat> Sorry for that outburst. Oh no! Oh, this has got the little blush line! Oh, that's cute! Well, you look so happy, I felt happy too. You shouldn't hide your happiness. Uh, oh, <laughs> you can get me a cobalt velvet. Alright, cobalt velvet, you got it. Hopefully it's a more expensive drink. 280? Alright, we can do that. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. <clears throat> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. On the rocks and mixer rude. Shake a shake a shake a shake a shake a shake a boom. Go about that. <clears throat> there you go. Thanks. Meeting with Say today. She should be here in a bit. Yay! Stella and Say in one day. How lucky are we? She wanted a drink here, and since I was coming here too, said like can't stay for long. Has some errands to run. Aw. How's she been? She's better. Her wounds have been healing really nicely. If only she stopped scratching at her bandages so often. Hey, sometimes they're itchy. I? Oh, hers. Ah, sorry. <laughs> sorry. 
<laughs> Sorry about that. Take longer to heal, but as long as it's kept clean, there should be no problem. To be honest, I'm more worried about her emotional wounds. She did seem a little bit out of sorts, like, right after. Doesn't show up, but she's had depressive bouts from time to time. Who can blame her? Her life changed completely. The job she loved no longer exists. She used, she was used as a disposable pawn in the whole bank affair. I'm afraid it will make her... It will all make her go back to her old ways. Aww. Rough spot when Say was a teen. Mom's clinic was about to close, then her biological father, who was an asshole, go figure, showed up, and the teachers at her school didn't help. Not a slow learner by any means, but her way of learning stuff is different. It's equivalence to things she knows. You need to get a, a bit in her mindset. Once you get this, she's a fast learner, but schools don't have that kind of patience. Yeah, I guess that's true, huh? Checking one of my billion pockets here for... Aha! Perfect. One moment. Whew! Alright, that's better. Once you get this, she's a fast learner, but schools don't have that kind of patience. Yeah, she's bas they basically branded her a failure. She even dropped out. Would have suggested a special course somewhere. That would have offended her. She's always been against being labeled as special or different. Well... Uh, yeah, try being gifted, then. That's a whole nother ball of wax. Anyway, say it was totally different during that period. <laughs> Almost short-fused. Oh, wow. Yeah, that is quite different than the say we know and love. Always frowning, the total opposite of how she is nowadays. From time to time, I see that old link look cross her face and it scares me. Oh, still, don't uh, be sad. Bringing her to her teen self, though. People mature, that they do. Well, most people mature. Some don't. Some do not, ever. Maybe she'll show signs from time to time, but I bet Say knows better than to go back to that. I hope so. Give me something cold and sweet, will you? Cold and sweet, huh? All right. That's cold and sweet. 180, though. Damn, that's the only cold sweet one. Two powder delta, two flanergide, one, two, three, four, carmatrine, all on the rocks, and blenderood. Shika, 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 shika. All right, blended. Moonblast. Bam, boom, bam. Cold and sweet. Kind of stuff they ask for, you know. Not to mention it. Yeah, that is weird. Why is the interface noise so quiet now? Did I somehow accidentally make it quieter without... Weird. Alright, well, sorry about that. That was kind of strange. They say his family situation isn't actually fine and dandy, huh? It's a mess that they've tried to fix over time. Glad to say they've actually done it. Ooh, alright, good. Mom had a really abusive relationship with Say's biological father. Sadly, like many women in that situation, just tried to justify his actions. Yeah, unfortunate. Apparently, things got nasty when Say's mom, Miss Emmy, got pregnant. At that point, she had an epiphany. All right. Didn't want that guy to raise her child, so she finally sought help. Things weren't so easy. Or the authorities could take him away. Miss Emmy got a serious beating from him. Oh, that's not good. Still uses a cane to walk. Oh. Moved here. Say was born. She started a vet, vet clinic. He was drunk and couldn't find any drugs, so he made it to the city. Caused a ruckus for a couple of days until Say managed to scare him. Whoa. Say managed to scare him off? And beat him to near death three times. <laughs> Whoa! All right, well, sometimes it's the only way people learn, you know? Oh, don't worry. I left too, lol. Dramatic irony there is delicious. I'm wondering, can you really be so calm in the lower parts of the city? The streets are not exactly safe. That cat boomer is sure to become a target. Well, I have my security staff with me at all times, so there's no problem. Besides, this part of the city is comfier. I hope it's because that's where this bar is, Stella. Starting to pick up what you're putting down here. Sure, Uptown is cleaner and maybe more secure, but it's also too sterile. 
Around here, you can actually feel the warmth of the people. You feel there are people living. It's just like going to a busy food stand. I feel a warmth there that Uptown doesn't have. It's also easier to talk to people. Yay! Say is here! I say... You try to talk to people with someone... Just try to talk to someone in the upper part of the city, they either shrug you off or flat out ignore you. People around here are a bit wary, but they're also more likely to talk to you. Not that things aren't nice there, though. Can I get you something? I feel like having a beer. Two beers! <laughs> Say, please. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> oh, lol. Two beers! Two beers, two beers. Alright. One, two. One, two, three, four. Uh, oops. Uh, one, two. One, two, three, four. Uh, did I fuck something up? I shouldn't have an even amount. Oh, all right, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Check a, check a, check a, check a, check a, boom. All right. And then one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Check a, 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 boom. There you go. Two beers. Hey, you should have seen the kids after you left. I was just happy again. They were all playing with the toys you picked and yelled it again this year. They were all asking, where's Say? Where's Say? Why do they call you just Say when they call me Auntie Stella? I don't look that old. Oh, wait, I missed that last remark. <laughs> all right. They still like you. Sorry I had to leave, but Mom worked overtime that night and couldn't leave her alone. If fireworks and some dog thought it'd be safe to hide in a jar. What the hell? Okay, so either we've got big ass jar or small ass dog. Or both. I guess both, probably. The well, guy managed to get his head and a paw inside before getting stuck. Alright, well, there you go. And it was plastic, so they couldn't just try to break it. Need someone to hold the dog while she worked. Poor fellow is scared. Well, no shit. Well, I'm out. What? Oh, yeah. We'll have a New Year's party this Saturday if you want to come. Yay! Yes, both. Both of you, please. I've been depressing myself and my dad's woes about the next fiscal year. Yay! Yeah. Ah. Yay! Stella and Say at the party. Played truth or dare. Had some fun, broke some glasses, ate lots of food. Seriously, looking back, the amount of food was ridiculous compared to the number of people who were here. <laughs> Better leftovers than left hanging, don't you think? Yeah, true enough. Can I get you something? Let's try something classy. Something classy! Alright, something classy. Oh, the bad touch is classy, huh? 250, 250, 280, 2 city, and 250. Alright, 280 wins. That was what, the cobalt velvet? Yeah, there we go. Shicka, 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 boom. There you go. Something classy. Still came in quite cheery about Sunday. Sunday! Sunday, Sunday! Oh, okay. Hey, you know, her birthday is actually 25th. Oh, nice. Weird story from when she was a kid. She heard Mega Santa's story, and somehow she got it into her head that being, by being born on the 25th, she was a spiritual reincarnation. <laughs> Made her start giving gifts out like crazy. Got over it, but the gifting stuck to her. Spiritual reincarnation, lol. The story says that Redmond's family destroyed Santa's spirit, that Mega Santa was reborn as a manifestation, blah, 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 blah. Thought she was the old Santa spirit in a new body. <laughs> Girl was delusional as a kid. Hey, kids are hyper delusional, don't you worry. That's what makes them kids sometimes. Thinking of things you did when you were young. Oh, mentioned she's worried about you going back to your old ways. Something about a rough period where you were angry or something. Oh, that. Oh, come on. Talk it out. Say you'll feel better. Sweet that she's worried, but I won't go back to those days just like that, though. Even if I face the same situation, I'm more mature, you know? I'm not a teen anymore. I could as much. Told her as much. Can you get me something bubbly? You want something bubbly? Get you something bubbly. All right, we got a 2 City. A 280. Wait, Cobalt Velvet is also bubbly, huh? A 150. 
And just normal ass beer. All right, well, Cobalt Velvet wins out again, I guess. Sorry for doubling up on the drinks here, uh, 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 say, but I need the money. <laughs> I kind of need the money. All on the rocks and mixed. Shaka, 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 boom. There you go. Bubbly, bubbly. <laughs> hey, Jill, this might seem a bit random, but you remember the first time I came here? Uh, yeah, you were wearing your helmet. I said because of that, I've been meaning to ask you about that story. How was your other experience with a white knight? Total opposite of her. He was part of her work, looking for information in some case. I went through the motions, offering her a drink and all that. She came only for her job. First, I thought she was just another private eye, but she showed me her badge and all. Never told me. She asked if I saw some people. She got pretty intense when I told her I had no idea who she was talking about. Was, she asked some vending machines outside, and they told her the suspect climbed on them. We got her info and she left. Pretty professional, if a bit intimidating. She seemed personally invested in the case, though. The way she lost her cool was... suspicious. Seemed to be pretty good at reading people, Jill. Makes me kind of jealous. Nah, not that good at it. It's just coincidence that I noticed. But you noticed. That's true. Not good at reading people. Even if the key was thrown in my face, I wouldn't be able to see it. I'm sure you can compensate with another skill. Any particular reason why you asked me about that? Not really. It's found the fact that I, was, that I was the only other white knight you've served weird. Well, we are at a bar in a kind of weird part of town, so... Whatever. I spent most of my life with almost no interactions with white knights until I met you. Means you've had a nice life then. <laughs> well, it sounded creepier than I thought. Uh, I don't worry about it, say. Well, I'm done for today. Thanks, Jill. Bye, say. All right, that seemed to be a pretty active first half of the day, so maybe we'll maybe we'll just barely have enough money for rent. Here's hoping, anyways. Burp, burp. All right, so we've got say Stella. Uh, is that Dorothy there? I don't remember. She kind of looks like Dorothy. I think that's Boss up there. I'm standing top center and Gil is top left there. I left food for four. <laughs> I hope so. Okay, let's ditch some of this stuff. Every day is a night. Or every day is night, rather. What is that? Oh, wait. Nope. Not doubling that up. Do, 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 Dawn approaches, reminiscence, and let's put Neon District back in there. Ba -da 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 -ba -da. Actually, let's put that, like, in the beginning. I want some jazzy shit. <laughs> Whoa, Dorothy's waiting for us. Hey, Dorothy. Usual, I guess. Usual, usual, usual. Uh, shit. What the hell is her usual? <laughs> Damn it. Oh no. What did she. Usual. Uh. Uh. Well. No, wait, we didn't make a mistake by giving her the bad touch before, so I'm gonna guess it's bad touch. I think. I kinda need the, the flawless service bonus, so I hope I don't fuck this up. No, Sam, I don't want you to cheat for me. Come on, man. Come on. Uh, Alright, let's go with it. Shake a shake a shake a shake a shake a shake a boom. Here. This is bad. Bad? But why? Hmm. Oh, I hope that was the right. That seemed to be the right response. How do you know what's real? No, I don't, Sam. I don't want you to cheat for me. No. Rule number two no spoilers. If I make a mistake, I make a mistake. That's on me. Hey, honey, how do you know what's real? How so? I mean, how do you know if what you see is an actual thing? Oh, wow, Dorothy, you're getting a little deep here. How can you tell if what you see around you is actually happening? What tells you everything is not actually a fabrication? What tells me I'm not just a simulation in a computer? Oh boy. Oh boy. Those ponderings brought you to the bar? What? Oh, I'm in the bar. Well, you, yeah, I, I mean, I'm here. 
You were I told you we were, you were walking into the bar. I gave you a drink. You're in the bar, honey. Am I? Dorothy. So you're having a solipsistic crisis of sorts? Yeah. Solip what? Solipsism. The theory that the self is the only thing that can be known to exist. Yeah, I guess that's true. Another thing right there. That word. Solipsism. Where does it even mean? Where the hell did it come from? Well, the dictionary, presumably. Well, solace means alone and ipse means self. Yes, but how did it come to be? Do you expect me to believe that a lot of people just randomly decided to make noises? And decide, hey, let's make this noise mean this. I mean, that's kind of the entirety of language, right? All words are made up, Dorothy. <laughs> Doesn't make sense. Words don't make sense. That's right. Oh, she's got her pouty face. That's really cute. Been repeating words for a long time and they've stopped making sense. Why? Calm down. Sem semantic satiation. Oh, wow. Jill with the fucking... $10 million words again. That's great. I like that. Stop making up words. No, those are words, I swear. There's this counter. How can I be sure the counter is really here? Well, you can not walk through it, right? It is. Please stop tapping it. Hold on. Just making sure. Make her a drink at the very least. I'll have something to throw at her. All right. She needs to calm down. She really needs to calm down. So I'm going to give her... Does she like rum? I feel like she likes rum. Here. Dorothy, you need to calm down a little bit. Let's start from the beginning. When did you have this existential crisis since earlier today? I don't know. It was all too sudden. Wait, it was or wasn't all too sudden? It was all too sudden. All right, okay. I was thinking about everything that happened from a week ago until now. How much fun I was having, how much I loved everyone around me, and out of nowhere the thoughts started piling up. What is love? What is fun? Are those feelings real? Is all of that real? Am I real? It tells me I'm actually in a body. What if I'm just some computer somewhere thinking it has a body? What if I'm just a human girl in a comatose dream? These are all valid questions. All valid questions. But... What tells me that you're real? Eh? For all I know, I might be a figment of someone's imagination, or even just an AI simulation in some computer that thinks it's a human. Yeah, all right, let's turn this around. <clears throat> I've been there, Dorothy. That existential doubt and crisis, that uncertainty about whether or not things are real. I think we've all been there in some form or another. A couple of months only, but I remember having panic attacks and scratching my arm to feel something. Ugh. Panic attack gave me a rush of adrenaline, so I couldn't feel the scratch and the fear got worse. Oddly enough, I read a book. Last Rain in the World, one of my favorites. At one point I cried at the book and I realized crying over fake things, the story and its characters. Didn't care less for them because they were fake. Why not think of reality like that too? Now if I'm a figment of someone's imagination, I'd still care about you. Oh, that's a, that's a very, very good and positive sentiment. My goodness. That's a bit feelsy too. That's what I told myself. At least it wasn't immediate, but that focus helped me. Aw, oh, cheer up, Dorothy. Hey, can I take this drink? I made it for you. Thanks. Okay, then. Uh. That's not how... Dorothy, that's not how you drink. Why did you throw it on your head? Exactly. Feel something you made. Aw. <laughs> it burns and itches a bit. Get you a towel. Delivery for Dana's... It oh, I've been here before. Oh, hey, it's the, uh, the delivery boy dude. All right. Mario, right, welcome back. I have delivery for Dana Zane. Who's that? She's my boss. I'll get it. Sign here. It's a big package. <laughs> wonder what's inside. Should open it. It's something perishable. Maybe it'll need to be refrigerated. It's a wiener. <laughs> okay. A really big wiener. Hey, honey. The big package had a big wiener inside. <laughs> Oh, okay, all right. There's a lot of entendres going on around here. Probably more than double. I'd guess either triple or quad. I don't know how she'll cook it. Perhaps she'll chop it. Okay, all right. So it's a, it's a food type wiener. Okay. <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> oh, the real Dorothy's coming back to us here. The wiener is too big to eat correctly. <laughs> Oh, no.
Please stop. You can prepare some right now. What do you say, honey? Do you want some of your boss's weird? <laughs> Dorothy, stop, please. <laughs> oh, dear. Hey, come on, Gil. It's not every day you get asked if you want some of your boss's wiener, all right? I mean, I hope not. You're the one trying not to laugh too hard at them. Yeah, that's true. They're good jokes, Gil. Oh, man. That's pretty good. Anyway, we all know if we dare cook this without her permission, she'll hang us upside down. <laughs> so no. Dorothy, that's your cue. They'll have me hang me upside down. Oh dang, I was hoping she would come up with another one because I, I had a couple in the barrel and ready to go, but I probably shouldn't tell any of them. The name, I'm Mario. Come on Mario, I'll buy you a drink. Hmm. I have another delivery, you know? It's your last one, actually. I'll accept your offer. Alright, cool. Yep, good. More drinks, more money. Less problems. Sunshine Cloud? Alright, Sunshine Cloud it is. Is he getting into his whole not needing to be super manly type thing? He sure is. Oh, it's a cheap one, though. That's unfortunate. You know, it concerns me a bit. For as long as we've been working at this bar, we've only asked, like, one person for their ID. But whatever, I guess it's fine. On the rocks and blended. Shake a 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 Alright, good. Here you go, Sunshine Cloud. Hey, uh, call me Dorothy. You can also call me Darling for the right amount, lol. Yeah, Dorothy, why don't you buy me a drink? Just to let you know, I don't swing that way. Alright, alright, he is, uh, 100% up front. What way? Little? A man's man. I like men, okay. He's alright, I thought that was pretty clear. Oh, well, there's anything wrong with liking women, but... Oh, don't worry. I wasn't hitting on you. I was thanking you. For what? Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, fair enough. It's easier than you think. Oh, shut up, Gil. When's the last time you made us laugh? Made me happy, and I don't know, fit with what she was telling me earlier. More calm than when I entered. I had to help, I guess? Well, duty calls. Hi, Mario. Bye, John. Bye, honey. Enjoy your big wiener. <laughs> Out with you. Seems like a nice girl. I don't mean for it to sound like I. I get it. I get it. Don't worry. You like guys? It's clear. There you go. You like motorcycles, don't you? Been to the motor district? In all my free time in the motor district, actually. Why? Is it true that they say about all the illegal races going on there? <coughs> You're not a cop, are you? Because you gotta tell me if you are. As far as I remember now. I mean, there are illegal races, but there's also a semi legal league. Semi legal? <laughs> The authorities acknowledge that there's races going on. They don't know what goes on in them, however. Modified engines, casualties, substance abuse. Oh, yeah, sounds like a typical Monday night, right? The illegal ones end up being safer in the end. Heard about a biker... <laughs> Heard about a biker called Christine Love. Miss Love, of course. Everyone knows who she is. What about her? Is her gang as dangerous as they say? I don't know. Nobody knows. They look intimidating enough, but the truth is that nobody has faced them directly. Nobody wants to be the one that got beaten to a pulp if they turn out to be what they seem. So our gang is just there, menacingly doing their own thing, not bothering anybody. Anything else? I have a piano man. All right. You want a piano man? Sure thing. I can get you a piano man. 320 bucks. All right. That's better. That's better. Uh, we can't double this one though, can we? It's already doubled. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Wait, is this right? Five? Five, five, ten, eighteen. Okay, I guess that is right. Shaka, 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 boom! The anime. Here you go. Yeah, this is nice. Oh, I thought he I thought he was making a frowny face there. It sound weird, but do you believe in replobots? The fuck's a replobot? The belief that some Lilum out there are designed to perfectly replicate a particular human. That someone or something replaces those humans with such Lilum. Ugh, invasion of the body snatchers, huh? <laughs> oh wait, was that Gillian talking the entire time? Or Gil? Whatever? Oh, that is! I thought that was Mario. Whoopsie. <clears throat> Oops. Most magazines nowadays, well, it's the first time I've heard of it. What about it? 
Boy, here I almost ran over my neighbor. He just showed up in the middle of the street. I say almost because he moved really quickly out of the way. Then I went to deliver a package and somehow my neighbor was there almost immediately after the whole thing. He was there the whole time. Maybe someone that looked like him. Had the same looks, clothes, and mannerisms. Trust me, you know a perfect replica. Well, oh, excuse me. Very burpy all of a sudden. You know a perfect replica when you see one. <laughs> you saw the kid Lilim here, they could easily pass off as humans. Or even Lilim idol singers nowadays, whose voices can pass off as human. What, you mean Kiramiki? Hope she comes back at some point. Could be passing off as humans under our very own noses, replacing us little by little. At this point in time, I really doubt it. Lilim behavior is a bit different. You can easily tell someone's a Lilim because they seem... How do I put it? They don't care about risk and danger as much as we do. They treat risks with a lot more leniency. Still, be careful. Keep an eye out for uncanny doppelgangers. I'm leaving. Thanks for everything. Bye, Mario. What's your take on the Replobot thing? Do you believe in them? That seems kind of weird. When I was in high school, I had this irrational fear of aliens. Paranoid that they would come, but what would I do then? Remember, I lost lots of sleep because of it. Does that answer your question? No, of course not. Let me finish. Can, can, can you finish? After many months of fear, I reached a conclusion that might as well apply here. It's useless to be afraid. That's right. Sometimes fear is what people want. People want you to be afraid or some bullshit like that, but just don't, just don't, just don't be afraid. If I was a simple woman, I wouldn't be able to do shit against them, so I'd rather live without being afraid. So the memories of not being afraid will be my only solace when the nebulae crabs invade, Paul. Or I mean, when the Ripple bots come. Are you still afraid of aliens? It's useless to be afraid, don't you catch? Right. No, boss, nothing happened. You have the sense of humor of an eight-year-old. Anything new happen? Oh, that's right. Uh, boss, your big wiener came. <laughs> <laughs> Lol. They brought you a package. A big package. And inside that package... <laughs> curated wiener. Alright. Gift from my folks. It was delayed in customs, but here it is. You guys want some of it? <laughs> uh... Oh, lol. That's real good. Ah, oh, so we didn't get the flawless service bonus. That's unfortunate. We really could have used that. Really could have used that, to be honest with you. I think we've got two days left, or maybe just one? I don't know. I don't know. It's gonna be a tight fucking squeeze if we can get ten grand by then, though. Maybe I shouldn't have bought all that garbage. I think we fucked up, uh, I think we fucked up the order for, uh, for Dorothy, her usual or whatever. I just do on the 30th, please make sure, $10,000, fuck me. Oh, fuck me, that's gonna be a little, a little much, and she wants one of the whatever, whatever things. I've been chuckling since yesterday, <laughs> wiener. Ah, crap. But it is also getting kind of late tonight, so we're going to have to cut it right there. So we will save. We will save and then be done for tonight and then pick this up next time. All right. Let's get on out of here. Okay, so that's it for tonight. Next stream will be Wednesday night, 7 p.m. CST. We'll be back on this until we're done. I feel like we've got... Probably the rest of this week and maybe the entirety of next week, too. Just because I don't see this slowing down anytime soon. We haven't really been making our way towards the head of things yet, so whatever. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. I will see you on Wednesday. Bye-bye.